If you can just change reality at will, like, damn. You'd think you'd do stuff with that. Mm-hmm. That was such a fever dream. <laughs> the, the it really crisis. was. Like, that was a thing that happened. That That happened. We watched it happen. We were there. We paid close attention to every <laughs> second. And it was just... It's like, it was... What was that? Do you like how they they explained "quote unquote" the monitor? It's just like a dude who wanted to visit the dawn of time, apparently. And so now he's what he is. Very weird. Like, okay. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, like, uh, I guess now he's all broody and weird, and he created the anti monitor. You'd think that he'd be happier. About I mean, wouldn't an anti monitor be super upbeat and happy what and was... hey everybody, I'm the anti monitor. I'm like him, but the opposite. What was the motivation to destroy everything? Evil. Um the force. <laughs> oh, That's I know what I did that wrong. Show. That show is invalid parameters. Invalid parameters is just play it anyway. It's like, all right. <laughs> the show is invalid parameters. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello everyone. Rags and I are gonna check out some memes just quickly, just to stem the the enormous flow. It's not it's not a lot, just so that I can, you know, the next time we actually cover them in a big way, it'll slow down hello. a bit. But um, and then we're gonna we're gonna just go through super chats. It's gonna be fun for probably two or three hours or or however long. Uh. Just I think this is, this is a good start, considering what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, oh. Imagine how upset they must have been. Finally, he, he finally Kevin Conroy's back to play Batman. Like, oh, oh, oh I mean, even I, I, like I hadn't seen a lot of his work as Batman, but no. even I was like, oh, this will be really cool. Yeah, I was. I don't have any real connection to him at all, but seeing that, if anything, it's like when. It's like when you watch somebody else get kicked right in the balls and then you kind of you feel it in a way. Yeah, that's kind of what it was like. And the fact that poor, he poor, poor, poor Pat Conroy. He would have signed Pat, on. Not Kevin Conroy, not, not Pat, Pat Conroy. Conroy. <laughs> he's, um, he, he's an author. The fact <laughs> that he would have signed on despite the script means he probably just really wanted to be a part of it. And that's really sad. That's, that is kind of sad. That makes it. Uh, um. Someone sent me the screenshot out of context. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but it's funny. Time is shorter for long people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good for him. The long men uh, yeah. experience Earth in a shorter way, in a longer way than how it works. Yeah. <laughs> like, under control. Oh my goodness. Look how Joker's just there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Make America ethical again? What a fucking... What a gay hat. What <laughs> a gay hat. <laughs> what a gay little hat. When someone hasn't discovered the majesty of Movie Bob. Oh, it fits him so well. He's a... He's a... He makes people just have to... Have step to back. <laughs> have to be and like, oh, I got... Fine. Something came up. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you guys are great and all, but I just can't do this. I can't do this guy. This large man. <laughs> Boy, he got hemp. Hold on, let me get my strobe light. <laughs> yeah, that was basically that planet was strobe light planet. When they, like, briefly showed the Emperor with the lights going on him, I, I, I kind of liked it, and then I realized that if for extended conversations it would be doing it, and I was like, oh, no, like, my this eyeballs. This was cool at first. It's kind of like a joke where the first time you tell it, eh, it's pretty good. I like this joke. Then they tell it over and over. What's this? I'm not 100% sure. I, at first I was going to guess Tremors, but now I'm, I, I'm not clear on is what. This like a, is this a Walking Dead thing, maybe? Something burst through a wall. I feel like chat will get it. Someone in chat will know. They can answer we, this. We, we definitely get it. I'm just trying to figure out what this is from. Mm -hmm. We shall discover it, I am sure. Um, got this wonderful meme format. There's like three of these. 
Movies have oh. merits and flaws that you can recognize regardless of whether or not you personally like the movie. So what you're saying is people aren't allowed to like The Last Jedi. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's basically what it is talking to these people. Yeah. In a nutshell. But I showed you this one earlier. <laughs> we have to get our top scientists to decipher it. Oh, oh yeah, this one is just strange. <laughs> maybe, maybe like instead of Finn yelling, Ray! Maybe it's like the super chat is what he's saying. <laughs> Hi, Rags. Hi, Rags. <laughs> um, so what's that? Baller, please stop blue balling us and upload the crisis vids on consecutive days. You said editing was done. No, I didn't. I said the editing was what? done for one, two, and three. Three is coming out in a couple of days. Four and five haven't been edited yet. The reason I stagger the releases is so it's consistently released. Um, because otherwise we'd get like. One and two, and then a week later three, and then two weeks later four and five. Which I don't know. I just I would prefer to do it once per. I think we got once per five days is uh, the attempt to do it right now. But yeah, don't worry, they they're coming out. They're coming out. We um, have to pull them from a single black infinitude. Exactly. Also makes it very difficult. Let's see. What do we got here? <clears throat> That's funny. It's funny because uh, when it comes to Jenny or Houston or um, there's there's a couple of others. There's a lot of people who I try to like just be like, but that's a bad argument. The people are like, who are you talking to? What is this? And I'm like, I gotta screenshot all of it because everyone's blocked. Oh yeah. Um. See, now we have another vision. I absolutely believe you have the right to free speech and I would defend you if I thought your free speech was being infringed. So you're saying you want to take away my freedom of speech? <laughs> <laughs> oh, knobs. Mm. <laughs> this is obviously a uh, candid photo someone must have taken during the uh, Jenny EFAP stream. Sometimes you don't know people are taking photos of you, you know? Looks just like you spit an image. You stand out in a crowd. Yeah, I, I figured nobody would nobody would catch it, but some. It's, yeah, I got it. it's a little subtle. So this is the Joker sequel. Uh, I think oh we'll be goodness. checking it out. Oh, <laughs> nobody should be on meds. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Oh my goodness. Uh, someone spotted an artwork in in I guess the the place of exciting adventures and 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 it's kind of gas mask people interesting I guess. oh monument they're they're kind of they're kind of longish looking yeah they're long yeah kind of long insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results so again you got Pal palpatine <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I don't know. It's just, you know, he was trying newer stuff every time to a degree. Just couldn't get it to work. Um, what's that? He got, got you. Don't shoot. I'm a Nazi too. Prove it. I like uh, EFAP's view of objectivity. <laughs> you. <laughs> um. You'll remember Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I apparently I am Rodan in this illustration. Sea of Tonal. <laughs> Patrick Williams and bad video essays. See, Patrick Williams is his own sort of thing. Not just a bad video essay. It comes into his, his, his own group of ships. The Wipeout. Oh. More evidence of people being blocked by Jenny. How unfortunate. Don't talk to me or my poor giver again. <laughs> Oh and ironically, God, she's gotten like... like half my followers blocked. Be nice people. <laughs> <That's laughs> <T -Y> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can do a lot with this meme format. Um, this is fun. I was sent. Don't I haven't? I don't know the source of this quote, but it just says, "I hate to look at the stuff I've written and consider what it means or why I do it." He has he really said that? I don't. It... <laughs> I would, I would, I would want to question about that. I'd be like, wait, what? Uh, let me look it up. Because you'd think no writer would say that, but all right. Stuff I've written. 
I think I might have the quote. It's I got him on brainyquote.com here saying that. Uh, is there any extra bits or is it just that? Yeah, you just Google that. Um, that's the only place I found it at the moment. I don't know if it's a real quote or not, but it's on, it's on Brainy Quote, whatever that means. So I don't know. Sounds like something he'd say. Well, someone created Tism Night. I have you know, infinite respect for such things. You have such a foul beast back there. We got, um, this is a deleted scene from Rise of Skywalker where he speaks to the Oracle, and the Oracle is yeah. indeed a spider. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, it's um, Mustafar. Like, and there's water. I guess it's time we release, we, we, we tell people the truth. Uh, this scene <laughs> was going to go ahead, but we were made aware of it by Disney, and we told them that we would be suing them if, uh, if they had continued, so they had to remove it. You know, that's just how yeah, it works. Spider oracles are a registered trademark of EFAP. We we get a, we get a lot of pull in Hollywood. We don't like to use it, like, you know. But sometimes, sometimes you gotta. You remember when Ray was described as an underdog? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh Oh hey. Road to objectivity. Hey! The road to objectivity. In papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Your opinions are shit. They're <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> oh, they are. This is apparently is that? proof. Is that, that's that... a Bernie and Ert? Yeah, I think so. Or Ert and Bernie? I don't know. Ert and Bernie. Bert and Bernie. Uh, Gurney and Bert. Gurney and Bert. Apparently Jay has been tricking us this whole time. Oh my goodness. That Rags is not the girl, it is someone else. Or at least, you know, He's, we'll have to get our science team on that. I think his, his spirit animal is like a giraffe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is like a rendition of Movie Bob, apparently, from Twitter. And I was just like, alright. I'm not 100% sure of what's going on. What has he got? On. What's he got? Is that like a cupcake or some kind? I feel like it has to be some kind of confectionery item on top of a stick of some kind. I assume because he's fat and disgusting that it's like candy or something, some sugar, some sugary sort of thing. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to decipher it fully. Ooh, we have a cool little listing of uh, scrappy underdogs. Oh. <laughs> 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 like the cosmic oh, chicken. Was, <laughs> oh yeah, she's she's definitely the scrappy underdog. How does she manage? I don't know. It was a wonderful story that she managed it though. Champ championing against all adversity. The Bachelorette Star Wars edition. Oh, who we got? Oh, oh my goodness. Got Waldo. Uh, Dan and Dave. James Gunn is there. Taika Waititi. Ryan. George. Mandalorian. Don. Um, oh, the guy who made Rogue One. Well, the guy who made Rogue One. I forget his name. Oh, Ron Howard is there. Dave Filoni with his cowboy hat. New guy is there for some reason. <laughs> Dude, rotting. Eric Butts. Oh. All kinds, of course. They're all vying for Kathleen Kennedy, I suppose. That's uh, unfortunate, but that makes them. That re really recontextualizes this meme. You don't make me watch the long man. Oh, <laughs> it's got EFAP in his go. eyes. EFAP. It's amazing that it's the high quality image that. Yeah. Oh, it's a GIF. <laughs> Women. <laughs> 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 got this, oh. um... Works so well. Sigh. Oh, what's wrong? I met a woman today who stole my bike and clothes. I would hate that if that happened to me. You can have my bike. Oh, wow. I can tell we're really going to be the kind of co-workers who become friends. Why, really? Of course. <laughs> oh. Yay. The dawn and new guy. I feel like they have some wonderful adventures. Anything yet? I ain't watch shit. That's <laughs> space balls. <laughs> I need to see that again. It's good shit. It has been a while since Especially I've seen that. Especially after having seen TLJ, it, it'll probably be even better. Yeah, the plot will make a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is episode five. 
I think this is them commenting on the giant teddy bear that's attacking. I think you're right. Don't that was the thing that happened. You will see our coverage of that eventually. Oh my god, that happened. Check Bob that out. Diabetes got, Island. We got EFAP chat. Two of them. The helicopters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys really think we can take him on? I guess we'll find out in the motion picture. So, I like this way better than King of the Monsters. Um, I wasn't a fan of either of them. Caravan of Critique. Epic movie posters. He's made quite a few of these, so the guy behind him. They, they are in my back. Yeah, I've noticed memes. quite a few. Bottom left, I keep thinking that's Farquad for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> or Valamo literal spooder oracle cut from Tross JJ please. Well, like I said, we uh we we pulled some strings, can't be having um you besmirch the good Tor spider Valum. name. Tor Valum. Uh uh Oh yeah, I looked at some of these uh, concept art for some of the stuff. It's like an octopus spider, yeah. Frank and Bob. Dr. Diabetes <gasps> sought to find the key to immortality, but he instead made a monster of celestial proportions. Oh, that sounds like an epic undertaking. I would watch it. Oh, James Moore produced, nice. Epic. Uh, isn't it? On um, The Adventures of Evil Batman, Volume 1. Batman, there's no activity on the Joker lately. I guess he, like, beat him up, and he's like, I took care of him. Oh, and the Riddler, he axe-mitted him. Oh my goodness. Mr. Freeze, he... I don't know what's going on there. I don't even know what he's doing there. It's probably nothing good. <laughs> Done. There's also a decline in muggings lately. This is showing him shoot a gun. Justice is like a cat of Pringles. He just... <laughs> <Yeah. stuff> <laughs> oh, I get all of the references. So true. <laughs> this, this again oh, is one of them one. candid that's photos. Uh, obviously, we didn't know we were being photo photographed at this time, but um. Yeah, at the time, I just thought I'd take a look. Uh, I, I Longinus Manius, stab, stab thee with thy stick of objectivity. These sexes trying to hinder thy themes. <laughs> How dare these alt rightists <laughs> take away thy enjoyment? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. Cut the um the stupid Swiss Army knife lightsaber in, in the post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the the worm man is all white with the white. <laughs> <laughs> so many implications. The droid. <laughs> What's the, is that a? I guess that's like a. Oh, what is that? I gotta blow this up to full size. Oh, this is a big picture. Um, got the gunk droid there. Um, what is? I guess on the left, next to the dark trooper helmet. I guess. Oh, is, who is that? I don't know. I don't know either. I just it's duel of the faps. It's, uh, it's funny. Labeled rags in his gun. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a new gun the other day. <laughs> so it it it's accurate. It matches. Mm -hmm. Um Goliath, Monster of Massivity, by Unknown, translated by Scooby Dubious. The story the Toxic Brood won't tell you. The origin of Goliath is taboo, for the knowledge of this story can drive a man insane. Our story begins after the great Tonald Loke finished his creations. Tonald wanted to create a being just like the Cosmic Chicken. He started with the Cosmic Egg from the Cosmic Chicken himself, 1.2 billion gallons of rhino milk, and a pinch of massivity. He was proud of what he had started so far, so he took a long rest. Meanwhile, an evil massive known as Bobilius Chipanius stole Tonal's creation. Bobilius bought it, brought it to his basement apartment <laughs> <laughs> to create a monster that could destroy the cosmic chicken. 
Bobilius gen genetically modified the cosmic egg with the heart of a Rottweiler and the soul of a Tism. He then <laughs> added 20 pounds of massivity to the egg, making it begin to go rotten. The once cosmic egg then began to triple in size, and this made Bobilius roll with joy. <laughs> roll with joy. <laughs> Bobilius just had to add one more ingredient, which was the blood of a massive. He told his apprentice Quintinius to find him a massive. When he returned, Bobilius slammed his book closed so hard that it caused an earthquake, and he said, What'd you bring me? <laughs> Quintinius presented him the unknown massive. Bobilius was pleased with this, and he brought the poor massive to the egg. Quintinius began the sacrifice by adding every gallon of blood to the massive's body. The egg, uh, it now begins to increase in size even more, and then something made Bobilius puff up with excitement. The egg began to hatch. As the egg got larger, it, it continued to hatch. Five minutes passed, and the egg is full of holes and cracks, then silence. The silence is then broken by a hideous howl that can be heard throughout the universe. Bobilius is frozen shock looking at his creation he then says destroy the cosmic chicken my goliath goliath bursts through a wall outside world begin his rampage yeah it's directly from the uh the scrolls so you know uh, yeah trans translated by scooby dubious i like how that's like the thing we read out and then next is this <laughs> 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 oh that's funny gosh the rendition of uh, Movie Robert, I believe. Oh, dear. He's been pulling the oh strings the whole time. The man behind the scenes pulling the strings. The consumer. Oh, my goodness. I guess someone... I don't know what the actual result is, but it's like, birthday of Robert Chipman, 1918. <laughs> I doubt it, but all right. <laughs> He's been down there a long time. Somewhere in his basement apartment. This is a, a nice picture of what could have been the better movie. Yay! Lord teaching <laughs> Babu Frick oh the ways goodness. of the Force. And then uh, a simple but effective meme. We, we, we shall be seeing... Me? There's already an episode of Batwoman out that we haven't seen yet, and uh, hopefully Jacob is doing alright. I've heard they're awful. Though that doesn't surprise anyone i imagine <laughs> and the last one for the day <laughs> this, this is good i like that whammon gets sent to sleep <laughs> by good old always, Ethan. always whammon put them um, to sleep because we hate them yeah we're sexists and we hate whammon it only makes sense um we sleep them so i'm gonna uh do do what i did last time essentially just uh keep on ball on the ball of current uh super chats and mm -hmm. just look at our uh, look at our backlog. So I suppose yeah, take a look. announcements, and I'll probably repeat these for the EFAB episode on Saturday. That's when that the next yeah. one's happening. We have recorded the super chat catch up with Wolf. That's all good to go. It's just that we need to record the other one, and um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do in terms of release because it'd be weird to release part one without two, but then part two is going to go through a lot of copyright hell. So it's a yeah. weird. Uh, I'll have to figure it out. Um, I need to see what kind of copyright cross, hell we're dealing with first, I suppose. Um, yes, everybody. Uh, not all copyright claims are created equal. Yeah. So that that but you know progress has been made on that. Uh, Doom is still available, so watch it while you can. But uh, there's 15 days left for Zephyr to com to continue their claim. I'm almost certain they will within the next week. So. Once they do, I'll give it like probably a month and then I'll be re-releasing it again, but this time it shouldn't be taken down whatsoever. So Doom will finally be fully released and then we can move on to the next EFAP movies. Meanwhile, we've got, um, I think I'm releasing the next Infinity Tisms tomorrow. So, and, and we, did a, we, did a, we did a premiere. It was cool. Uh, it worked out really well. So we'll probably do that for all of the Infinity Tisms from now on. Um, Fun to have a little audience back and forth while also watching how insane the TV shows that we watch are. And uh, I've been working on... I've done the audio for both my intended April Fool's videos, and I'm editing the visuals on, on one, while someone who is, someone else is editing the visuals on the other. As soon as those mm -hmm. are done, I'll be doing a big video again. Um, I think that's, that's everything. Other than, yeah, we've got an EFAP on Saturday. We are covering... Ralph the Movie Maker's Joker video. Um, 
everybody has been requesting. Um, it's been a while. We've let everything settle. Um, I'm afraid it's a real video. <laughs> it's not a joke. He, uh, he stands by it. So we'll we'll be checking it out with guests. It'll be lots of fun. I guess we'll see you there. But yeah, that's that's it for um, I guess updates. Unless is there anything else you you want to mention, Rags? What are you up to these days? Oh, um, I'm finally kind of getting myself really back into the flow of things, where every day I can, you know, knock out you know X minutes of a video and that sort of thing. But uh, I th I I guess I was just in a little slump for a while and kind of getting over it. And uh, it feels good. Feels really good. But I'm just gonna be kind of hanging out today. Sweet. Gonna be hanging out. Oh, uh, we should mention as well. We watched. You were never really here. Uh, falling down. Taxi driver. King of comedy. The lighthouse. And between us, we've both watched 1917. What else is there? Um, we're gonna rewatch the Joker, obviously, before Saturday. Uh, Basically, yeah, me and Rags have done a whole bunch of movie homework. It's been great. Yeah, we have been doing our research. We've been studying for this. Uh, we even watched video, video essays about several of these movies after watching them, just to. <laughs> they were not good. No, <laughs> they, were, they were, very... were not good at all. The they one, the one that bad. was like wrong on two counts immediately, like the oh, first yeah. sentence of Taxi Driver. It was really funny. He was like, "Yeah, the last scene of Taxi Driver," and it's just not the last scene. <laughs> You know, it's something. It's the that eyes level are, of just objectively wrong. The eyes are darting around. It's like the really camera awful. darts around the room like a pair of eyes, taking in all of Travis's apartment. You're like, no, no, they don't at all. It's one slow, single, <laughs> solid pan that just scans over some news clippings. I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, fun times, but yes, lots, lots on the way, and obviously, this stream is intended to. Uh, Get us to catch up at least a little bit on on our super chat overflow, which we will try and be chipping away at every. Someone uh, saying pulling for 1917 for best picture, even ahead of Joker. Maybe, man. I'm okay with Maybe. that. Maybe, yeah. Like for those of you, I, I we haven't really talked about it on EFAP yet. 1917 is phenomenally good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it yet, you need to go out and you need to see it because it's uh, it is incredible. Very good, yeah. Very good. All right, I'm gonna start reading these things. You ready? Yeah. Exciting. Um, love you guys. Keep being massive. Thank you very much. I, we wouldn't dare stop being massive. Currently recovering from ear surgery. Thanks for stream. No problemo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well. I'm glad you're liking it. Um, enjoy your new ear. He's <laughs> like ear transplant. Um, ear transplant. <laughs> Have you seen? But it's like the ear of like an, a giraffe. Or something. <laughs> They're like, I, I don't know. It works. So what? What? And he's like, well, it looks weird. It's like, yeah, well. I mean, I could hear really, really well out of my new animal ear. <laughs> uh, my hats don't fit anymore, though. Yeah, that's the, the sacrifice. Get it specially made. Have you seen the Hugo Martin interview on No Clip? It's really good. He's an objective man, by the way. I, I have no idea who that is, but uh. One more time. What's the Hugh, name? Hugo Martin interview on No Clip. No, no, I, I'm, I, I'm not aware of it. I'll paste it into a note, and if I have my time to to check that out, I'll see if I can. Uh, also, Doom Eternal looks like it's going to be amazing. Good. Okay. Yeah, I guess there was a, there was a new video that came out of it, and I've heard a lot of good things. I haven't seen it yet. I've been playing. I've been playing the Doom multiplayer from 2016. I love the Doom multiplayer, guys. If you want to kind of tied yourself over then play that it's really really good stuff but yeah i'm i'm ready for doom eternal whenever they're ready for it i'm uh i'm hoping it'll be great so far it looks mm -hmm. good one man's trash is another man's treasure wonderful saying horrible way to find out you're adopted <laughs> well, yeah this, the video they're, essayists uh hot uh, you know they're they're lo they're not their logo their their catchphrase i guess um, I asked a pretty young homeless woman if I could take her home. She smiled at me and said yes. The look on her face soon changed, however, when I walked off with her cardboard box. <laughs> if I could take her home. <laughs> oh, that's uh, funny. I think I can use that. That's, that's nice, quick, funny. Hi, Rags. Hello. 
I forgive you for cracking me over the head with a maul in Mordhau. Also, hi, Mauler. Hello. And yeah, you know, that's just, you gotta do what you gotta do when it comes to Mordhau, so. What you gotta do. Uh, just wanted to specify, I'm talking about Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds. Uh, problem with this amazing game being buried is its unfortunate name. I don't know Outer about Wilds? It. Yeah. Let me Google that. I think I saw a clip Outer... of it at some point in someone's video, and I was like, hmm. Outer Wilds? Yeah. Yeah, that is an, that is an unfortunate name. Um, Very close to Outer Wilds. Let me... Outer Wilds on Steam. To be determined on Steam. It looks like a... A... a Open world mystery about a solar system trapped in an endless time loop. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. What up, my Ewoks? What up? What is up? What is on the well? <laughs> we, I get you know who doesn't know what's up, right? What else is up? No, you, you know who doesn't know what's up. Um. <sighs> Uh, I could make a few guesses. Well, I've been educated on the subject by recent, you know, mainstream movies, and I'm very glad of that. Recent filmages? Mm-hmm. Film, film Aroonies. Americans are terrible chess players. They lost two towers in one movie. Oh. In one move, sorry, not one movie. Oh, that changes things, because I was like, about Lord of the Rings. So <laughs> yeah, I'm for like, the second there, I was actually like, are they talking yeah, Lord of the Rings? Like, <laughs> I, I tried to be like, is Peter Jackson American? Or like... Besides, like they didn't lose bad both guys? of those towers in one movie. Yeah, <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, that's right, 9-11. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, reminds me of that tragedy. We should get Norm MacDonald as a guest. Norm MacDonald, please be an EVAP guest. <laughs> Uh, fuck, Mary kill, Alex Jones, Danny DeVito, and Tonald. Uh, Mary Tonald. I don't know, I'd might marry Danny. Uh, yeah. That's tough. Mar I, I think I'm gonna marry Tonald, fuck Alex Jones, kill Danny DeVito. I'm, I'm gonna kill Alex, Dan marry Danny, and fuck Tonald. And there you go. Uh, no bullshit is a thinker in the same way that a candle is a headlight. That's from Chris Reagan, apparently. As in, that's a quote oh. from him. Movie Bob. What? No what? bullshit. Not a new movie Bob. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to keep him straight sometimes. <laughs> We've got loads of massives to, like, categorize. <laughs> We've got a lot of large body, small brains. Uh, Rags, thoughts on Virginia gun rally? I'm glad people are out there rallying in support of their uh, their constitutional amendments. Glad to see that so many uh, people turned up and that certain groups didn't cause any problems. Uh, who would win futuristic sci-fi military or magical fantasy military? One has advanced weapons and power of science, while the other has arcane knowledge, magical creatures, and all that, that and all that entails. Wouldn't we have I feel to know like the science? We'd have to know the specifics, because, like, if you have Gandalf on your team versus a guy with, like, a rifle, Gandalf will probably still win, I guess, because he yeah, can... Yeah, I don't know. It depends. If we're th I, I think the science fiction army would probably win, but it depends on the scale of the magic. Most fantasy armies mostly seem to, like, kill and die by the numbers of just literally hitting each other with weapons, as opposed to, like, the magical side. So if that's the case, yeah, the then the sci-fi army are gonna win, aren't they? Well, they're just going to blow it away from orbit. That's what I just said. Yeah. So it would, uh... It does seem like like it would have to be a very specific uh, fantasy army that has some kind of, like... That's all about the magic. Like an army of wizards or something, I don't know. But even then... Yeah, it'd be weird. Because magic is so different between different kinds of, you know, like, universes and stuff. But I'm, I think I'm going to... For the moment, at least, I'm going to side with the fantasy. I, I too. I as well as. Just chipping in a bit to the buy every EFAPA Outer Wilds fi fund, uh, both one of the best and most criminally unknown games to come out in years. Cannot recommend enough. Also, hi, Rags. Love you, babe. Hello. 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 
Still a few EFAPs behind. Oh, and thank you for that. Um, are there any plans to change how slash when Super Chats are read out? It's a bit of a drag to get through backlog when a majority of the video time is just a bunch of high rags. Well, you don't have to watch that part. It's for the people who send the, those messages in. Like, once we're done with uh, covering the video, for example, if you don't want to watch us reading out and responding to Super Chats, you don't have to. But the people, obviously, who sent these in are waiting to uh, have us read them out and respond. I figure that system mm -hmm. works. And for those who are like, you know, but you're never going to catch up. You're always going to have a backlog. The only reason this happened is because we had um, the New Year's, New Year's stream, which was supposed to be able to be a catch up, but we ended up having YMS drop in and ER. So we couldn't do Super Chats. We were just having, you know, debates and discussion and stuff. And that was on top of the fact that we had the two wolf streams that clocked in at like, was it like, 13, 14 hours, and we only managed to talk about Super Chats for like an hour in that one. So you, you put those two together, of course we're going to have a big overflow, but we caught up before the Wolf stream. At every stream since that we've uh, talked about the Super Chats of the specific stream, we have actually caught up. Like, we will catch up. Just that, uh, obviously special circumstances um, pushed us back a bit. <laughs> and uh, worst case scenario, me and Rax can just do it offline, but I really don't think... We're going to have trouble catching up. We'll get there. Uh, this one just says, yo. Yo. Oh. Do, uh, SO needs to tell Church of Gale we found Waldo. Church of Gale. <laughs> um, Miss Gale, we found Waldo. Mola, 1917 unbridled praise when? Um... I don't know that I could make an unbridled praise for it, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to structure that, because I would just want to keep talking about how good the direction is, and I don't know how many ways I could say it, you know? Like, mm. oh, this, this, they're doing the same thing they did earlier, but it's still good. <laughs> it's still really good. Um, it's not like it would be impossible, but, like, I kind of want to do my Joker one, and I don't know if I would do one for 1917, but, um, you know, there's, there's a chance. Uh, just watch Tron Legacy. Though it's not a great movie, the character arc of Flynn, Jeff Bridges, is Luke's character arc from TLJ, but done right. I haven't seen Tron Legacy in a while. Uh, I would I would be fine seeing it again. It was a cool movie. It had a really good soundtrack. It was cool. Oh, it fucking stellar. Death Son of Punk. Flynn, some good stuff. Uh, Don plus new guy equals BFFs. Absolutely. In Patrick Willem's John Wick video, he said that he was a professor. Imagine walking into a class expecting to learn something, and he's your teacher. Oh, he said he was a professor, probably like as a joke, I guess. And he said, and he said imagine walking into a class expecting to learn something, and he's your teacher. That would, uh... You know, you can, you can learn stuff from seeing how not to do it, right? And, you know, Patrick, Patrick mm -hmm. maybe. maybe. And it ends with uh, High Rags Owo. Hello. JJ poops out a bad clone of A New Hope. Ryan stabs it repeatedly and lights it on fire. JJ begins pissing on the corpse, trying to put out the flames, but only making the smell worse. Yeah, that describes the sequel trilogy. That, that, that describes Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, fairly accurately, yeah. Hello there, Mr. Mauler. High Rags Kick J. Hello. Yeah, we, we pre-kicked him. It's all good. Uh, hello, Reeps, you massive catch-up with EFAP already. Uh, was that a misspelling of rags, or is Reeps a person? Reep? Reep? Can you spell that? R-E-A-P-S. Reeps. R-E-A-P-S? Mm-hmm. Hello, Reeps. Um, Maybe that's a friend of this guy's, I don't know. But yeah, Reeps, catch up, jeez. Maybe, maybe. Reeps. Yeah, his friend who watches, who's named Reeps. It's like, it's like a very... Long-winded way to say hello to him. Uh, Guten Tag, Rags. Hello. Free Hong Kong, going to work. Enjoy work. Catch Have up. Have fun at the work. This just says catch up, little tomato. What, what do I up, make of that? Catch up, little tomato. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess I get it, but like, is that how you say it? you say tomato? You don't say tomato. Yeah, I don't say tomato. I say tomato. Tomato. Yes. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato, even though no one says potato. <laughs> no one says potato. Mola, please make an episode of EFAP where Batman eats toothpaste. Okay, what, what is this meme? The Batman eats toothpaste thing. What is that? That's been said before. I feel like we're missing something. Oh, let's look it up. Batman must have Batman eaten toothpaste at some point. <laughs> it's like, 
I need to know how this happened. Batman eats toothpaste. All right, images. <laughs> this is this is cold research, okay? Um, I've got. Let's see. So I I got this. <laughs> Brush tastic. Um, I feel like it's probably an EFAP meme, so you're not gonna find it through Google, but, uh... Unless it's just the EFAP audience fucking with us, like, inventing a meme and relying on us not remembering just to say it, but I'm pretty sure it came from somewhere. Uh... Rags, my man! I was watching EFAP69, yes. and I love how you agree with me that Shell is the hottest babe. Also, Mola, tell Metal that he's a dingus. I will. Well, let him know. And yeah, Shell is, uh... Smoking. What if J.J. Abrams was to guy who was leaking information about episode 9? Also, hi, Rags and Mola. Hello, hello. Dude. That would be so interesting. Like, he's just... If it was in the whole time. Just give it up. He's he like, was, oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, they won't even let me make my movie. So, here's a shitty one. Fun fact for you, Massives. The enlightened fans refer to the scrawny CW version of Superman as Supercuck. <laughs> okay. Um, he, is, he looks like a, yeah. In the Crisis on Infinite Earths, Lois checks out m the most attractive Superman from the other worlds while he watches. Oh. Damn. Okay. That's Damn. just what Superman fans want to see. Yep. I can see why people really love this. I can see why the show would attract a certain crowd of people. Uh, you guys should watch Vikings. Also kick rags. No, 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 no. And uh, I have heard good things about Vikings. Um, Vikings. And Vikings in general, they're kind of cool, you know. I'm yeah, on Vikings board. Are... Uh, hello, beautiful massives. Can you react to 10 seconds of Kevin Smith's TROS review at around 2050? You will love this part. Thanks for all you do. I will Let's see. have a look, see, I guess. Kevin Smith, The Rise of Skywalker. I don't know who this guy is. You don't know Kevin Smith is? Like no, yeah, he's, I guess he's uh, like a review person. Well, well, he's a director and writer. He did uh, Clerks as well, pushed him to oh, fame. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so at, at what point? Uh, they said 2050. 2050. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look. The suspense is killing me. Ah! Uh, It'll, will it be worth putting uh, onto an EFAB? I, I mean, we could. No, it's just a little. It's just like a little, uh... But what is it? Well, yeah, did you see it? No, no, I haven't looked at it. I just assumed you'd tell me. <laughs> here, no, no, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, here, I'll, I'll send you a little link. I'll send you a little, little link here, because I could do the copy Earl at current time. Keep Earl out of this, dude. Earl needs to know. Look that. Message tells him that the Wayfinder is on a moon of Endor. And we hear the E word and we're like, yes! <laughs> the E word. Give me that screen. Yay, screen. He's he said it. Oh my god, he said the E word. That's insane. He said the E word, right? right <laughs> Not there. only that, but he was really happy about saying it, dude. Oh, it is so disgusting. <laughs> He's celebrating. EFAB condemns this. Oh my god, disavow. We're not laughing. Because it's funny. We just can't believe it. Um, hi, Rags. Hello. What did you think of the boys? Um. I mean. Sorry, someone, told, someone, someone asked me that once in a different scenario. Um, <laughs> I haven't said. <laughs> sorry, okay. I didn't think about that. Uh, I haven't seen the show. I haven't seen the show, but I've heard it's good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, there's a couple tisms, but for the most part, it's pretty awesome. I would recommend. Um, they fly now? Yes. I was going to yes. tell a dead baby joke, but I aborted. I get it. That's very, very clever. Uh, would you ever have Racevic or White Light on? They both do in-depth critiques and stuff. White Light's got a seven-hour long one on Death Stranding. Uh, we're not against it. I don't know if they yeah, showed interest. Absolutely. The way, Go for it. the way it often works with guests is like if if like some of the bigger YouTubers are like really difficult to contact, 
And so if you guys like find a tweet or something where they're like, yeah, I'd be interested, then I can like reply to them on Twitter and be like, yeah, just DMs, yo. And then they'll be like, oh my goodness. DMs, Ms. Uh, Obi-Wan used Force Heal on Luke in A New Hope when he touched his forehead after being hit by the Tuscan. I assumed he just woke him up. I don't know. I don't yeah, know force I assume heal. he touched him with his hand. I don't know if that was Force Heal. And if that's the case, then I... I that doesn't know. solve problems, that just makes more... <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> they cry now? <laughs> Would you rather fight Zori Bliss or give Bill Cosby a butterfly kiss? What's a butterfly? Butterfly kiss. Let me... Research must be done. Butterfly kiss? I don't know what that means. I feel like it's probably horrible. How to butterfly kiss. All right, let's go to WikiHow. Learn how to butterfly so kiss. Something to do with eyelashes? Like kissing someone while fluttering your eyelashes? Is that what that is? I, I guess. It looks like it. So it Why says, would... The butterfly kiss is a very sweet and tender kiss that can express passion, love, and affection. Uh -huh. Love and affection, Mahler. Whoa. Love <laughs> Chill and <out>. affection. <laughs> It's perfect for mixing things up with your significant other. After all, even making out all the time can get a little bit repetitive. This fucking uh, this virgin wrote this. To give a butterfly kiss, all you have to do is move your face close to your partner's so that your eyes are almost touching and flutter your eyelids rapidly so your partner feels like he or she is being kissed by the delicate wings of a butterfly. Um, if you want to get started, fly over to step one. So, oh my god. I, I mean, what faggot wrote this. So I guess our choices are that with Bill Cosby or to fight Zori Bliss. <laughs> god, this guy looks like Jay in the first image. <laughs> like, here, I'll just show you. This is the first step on the wiki how. Looks <laughs> like Jay. Jay. <laughs> Jay likes them butterfly kisses. I don't uh, think he'd deny that. said butterfly kiss my Shrek hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek hole. Oh. oh my goodness. Um, oh, let's, let, let me just see what the last step is. I want to read the last step. I want to see what it all leads up to. Step five. Flutter your eyelashes even faster. Beat those wings like you've got places to fly. Try moving your eyelashes even faster by blinking more rapidly. <laughs> to increase... To inc How else do you think you move your eyelashes faster? <laughs> They're literally attached to your eyelids. <laughs> I'm not even going to finish. <laughs> no, I will. Some people even give butterfly kisses on the cheek. Or other tender parts of their significant other's Well, they face. blink fast on someone's cheek. <laughs> I'm trying okay. To, I'll always be like, are, are you, are you, are okay? you having a seizure? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Damn, oh my goodness. Romance has gotten weird. Oh, that, is, that is very strange, <laughs> this, this butterfly kiss. Um, <laughs> I like this. Look at this picture. Look at this picture as if just in case you were retarded enough to not know where the eyelashes could be found on the human body, there's this helpful diagram with an arrow that points to them. They should have an explanation of how to read if they're going to go this far. Like, but that should be an audio form. <laughs> Jay, Jay's in the chat. Jay, we found you. We found you, butterfly. Oh, kissing. he saw it. Or, sorry, preparing to butterfly kiss. He said, butterfly kiss my ball. <laughs> Jay, this is so unbecoming of you. <laughs> Please calm down. Go back to smooching your your yes girlfriend or your mom or oh whoever my that goodness. is. Um, but yeah, the question was to fight Zori Bliss or to give Bill Cosby a butterfly kiss, and I guess I would go with <laughs> oh, Bill yeah, Cosby right. butterfly kiss because it's less risky. Would you do what with the Zori Bliss? I mean, you got to fight her. Fight her? Yeah. Yeah, I would. She, she's a woman in a Star Wars, in a Disney Star Wars <laughs> movie. I don't stand a fucking chance. We're just insta-dead. So. I'm a white male. I, w I wouldn't have a chance. No hope at all. Star Wars a no hope. 
Um, Mola, I work at Amazon unpacking boxes and opened one that contained a book called Mastering the American Accent. I'm tempted to buy you it, unironically. <laughs> the other day, I was listening to the EFAP um, where you were doing your Welsh accent. <laughs> it sounded like the shrunken head from the night bus in Harry Potter. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this is this is Mahler au natural. I mean, I, it's not like I ever social... sounded like that. It's just that I know how to do a Welsh accent because I <laughs> listen to it all the time. So, but um, oh my goodness, like, um, my parents don't have a strong Welsh accent, so I I don't either. I was saying, like, imagine like making love to somebody while giving them dirty talk with that accent. What did you say? Sloppy but effective lover or something? I, I said you sound like a an adequate yet sloppy lover. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll fuck you, I'll fuck you good, but it's gonna be messy and kind of awkward. But oh, you you'll you'll like it. You'll you'll come back for more. Um, you're just gonna you're gonna have to wash those sheets. Who wins, an army of space wizards or an army of tech wizards? I feel like tech wizards would be able to go into space. I guess the space wizards could probably just go into space because of their magical powers, like Leia, so... I guess. They're both wizards, though. True, true. Are we talking, like, Jedi versus... Well, a tech Cyclers wizard, is that, like, is that, like, a descriptor for someone who's good at tech rather than a magical person who uses tech? Is that, like, a... Is that, like, like a tech priest from Warhammer? See, if you I, don't include these specifics in the super chat, how are we supposed to answer these deep questions? Yeah, we could talk for a little bit about what is a tech wizard and what is a space wizard, but I'm gonna go with tech wizard. I would assume Tentatively. space wizard. We will just call them a Jedi, and the tech wizard is someone who is extremely good with technology. In which case, tech wizard. Yeah, I'm thinking a psyker from Warhammer. When I when I hear tech wizard, that's kind of what I. Th or, yeah, yeah, probably that. Yeah. In the right scenario, like someone, each of yeah. them could kill each other, but I think you know, more scenarios probably go to the tech wizard, because... Uh, someone said tecto, techno mage. As hmm. Jay, Jay said in chat, big nut. Oh, agree, big nuts, Jay. right. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. All of, all of the comments that Jay's made so far are testicle-related. So. <laughs> I don't... We'll have to... You know, something can be made of that, I think. Like, I conclusions agree, can be drawn. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna screenshot this actually. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it in the uh here. I'm gonna I'm gonna if anyone ever needs to use a clip of Jay chatting big nut, I'm gonna go to the EFAP podcast talk in the Discord and I'm just gonna post that there. So if you need it, there it is. Um, big nut. <laughs> on, the, on the Star Wars <laughs> FMK, are you sure you wouldn't uh, fuck Ray. When you're done, she could force heal you, and you could go indefinitely. Um, I'd fuck her brains out forever, according to this guy. Yeah, but it was all the three options. It was Ray, Leia, and Padme, right? Yeah, Ray's just outclassed so. by the other two. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Like, yeah, I mean, the other two can use. F well, Leia can use force heal, assuming the rules will work that way. So you're all right. It'll work out. Um. Big nut. Uh, why do orphans enjoy playing tennis? It's the only love they'll get. Ah, I get it. Ah. Uh... Check out the Velocipasta. Interesting movie. Um, Velocipasta. <laughs> like, a, like a religious Velociraptor. I'm on board with this. Raggers. Hera yes. Syndulla. Hot or not? Also, hi, Moles. Hello. What's that again? Hera Syndulla. I, I will paste it to you. Hera Syndulla. Let's take a look. Oh, she's a Star Wars -tism. Um. Let's see. Star Wars Rebels? So she is okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. Let's take a really close look. All right. So what's really interesting is that I accidentally 
I accidentally clicked the shopping tab instead of the image tab. <laughs> okay. The first thing that pops up is literally her topless. Oh, well. Is that you could buy a poster and it's her topless. So, all right then. But let's go to the real images. Yeah, she seems attractive. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the head tail thingies. Um but yeah. I um yeah, she's good looking. I think that in like there's in in Twilex society, right? They they must have a name for fucking yourself with your own head tails. Oh, of course. I but it, it So I, I wonder what it would be called. I mean, guys could do it. Girls could do it. They could all do it. There must it must be like a really uh, I'd say a very fairly prominent form of masturbatory act. Um, but yeah, it, she looks good. Is the real reason Mola doesn't like John Wick 3 because a long man gets killed at the beginning? A relative, perhaps? Keep up the great work, my dudes. Oh uh, yeah, that is that is essentially that's, my that's bias. That's the reason. I don't is, like... You, you got it. The one time we get long man representation and he's killed immediately. like, And he's a Nailed villain. It. It's like, oh, okay. I see. Nailed it. I get the message, Hollywood. I do. Um, I recommend listening to The Deer Hunter. I'd be interested with your thoughts on the main albums, mainly for the story. Hi, Waggles and Muesli. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, um, I only know of Deer Hunter the movie. I didn't know it was like a an album. Oh my goodness. How loud are you? Just oh my a, god, was that a whale? I think that was a guy with a really big dick. That's all I ever Jeez, is this. that what they sound like? Because mm -hmm. I dragging I, across sure the floor. That's the sound it makes. I'm pretty sure that's not what they sound like, Mahler. Well, I've got what, it on what good could authority. I, what can I say? I, <laughs> I'm just giving you the the truth here, buddy. I, I, I just looked yeah. out the window and he was just. <laughs> <laughs> is this the sound the dick made as the air passed over it? <laughs> What's up, Mahler and Rags? You N words ever read Malazan Book of the Fallen? Uh, no. No, I have not read that. I feel like that was brought up, brought up with the, the Wolf Super Chats. Um, I think Wolf has read it, uh, but I don't think I have. It breaks a lot of narrative conventions while being extremely high quality throughout all ten books. Highly recommend. Alright. Hmm. Toothpaste rises and Batman to eat it. <laughs> okay. The toothpaste rises. I was born in the toothpaste. Thanks to my favorite e words and misogynisms for hours of intellectual stimulation in regards to media. Also, keep your magazines loaded, Rags Washington. Yeah, man, I've got one. Uh, I got one. I've, I've got. I, yeah, I do. I have some of those loaded magazines. Like, excellente. This super chat was brought to you by Raz Roof and Plumbing. Oh, he does plumbing now too. He's. I thought that, like, I didn't... I think Jay's drunk. He said, Rags, arrange your favorite dicks from quietest to loudest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Jay is just... Oh. Jay, put it First down. First the big nut, and now this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jay, you're supposed to be setting a good example. What are you, what are you thinking right now? Terrible. Um... Mola, mask on or off when making love? Oh, that's always down to the, uh, the preference of the, um... The, the participant, you know. Norm normally they don't mind their face in the other way anyway. Uh, check out Oakley Doakley. I recommend Flanda Doodles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Is that a band? I think that's a band. It's like a band of Ned Flanders. Is. Uh, Flander Doodles? Yeah, I will. I no. Will, I will check that no, out. But... The, the band is Oakley Doakley. The, their song is Flander Doodles. Yeah, that's what It's what a 2016 the song. Says. God, it says check out Oakley Doakley. I recommend Flanda Doodles. And uh, yeah, I think it, I, th I think people have mentioned it before. It's a band of Ned Flanders's. Is. But uh, oh I God. won't play it on stream in case of copytisms. But I will check it out uh, a little later. That music will get you. Who are you, Ray? Ray who? Raid Shadow Legends. A lot of people have made that joke. That's how that's how influential Raid Shadow Legends is now. Raid Shadow Legends is more influential than Star Wars. <laughs> And Game of Thrones. How long until Disney buys Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> Don't Episode fuck up the law of Raid Legends. Shadow Legends, please. <laughs> but, but, but Mahler, it's free. It's the best part. Uh, what do you think of 1917? <laughs> I loved the first half and hated the rest. The guy should be dead, really? is dumb, and he's too lucky. Is it only me that didn't like the movie? 5 out of 10. Jojo Rabbit is much better to watch. 
Yeah, I think it might be you. Um, uh, I would give it that he's a little lucky. There's that moment where he gets shot at by that sniper dude like seven times and he keeps missing and then he manages to get him. Um, it's not impossible, it's just that it does seem like he uh, he was a little lucky there. Um, he is shot at a lot in the film, in total. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. It's just that uh, I, I don't think that it's all impossible. It's just... Uh... Yeah. Um, and of course, they're not what you would call completely lucky, uh, the two of them. The, the lots of, of carnage is dealt, of, uh, avoiding any specifics. Uh, but yeah, I loved it. I thought it was very, very, very yes. good. Go watch 1917. It's amazing. Mola, do little dragon bagpipe scene. Unbridled praise when dragon bagpipe scene. Dragon bagpipe scene. I've only heard bad things about do little, so not exactly encouraged to uh, check it out. I suppose we'll uh, see. Do little viewers can't stop commenting on that really gross dragon scene. Oh. Oh my goodness. Are you ever going to finish your Star Wars videos, or are you just a streamer now? So like, it was only like two weeks ago that I uploaded a new video that was two hours long. A new video that was two hours long, full of editing and information, <laughs> and it was packed with, to the brim with substance. And, and it was Star Wars. <laughs> like, sorry, so. I don't, sorry, I can't. Sorry, we can't be video essayists who sit in front of a webcam and shit out their terrible opinions in ten minute chunks every. I was other gonna say day. one ten minute video per month, and if I was doing that, people would assume that everything's fine. But I do one two hour you... video per three months, and somehow I'm like off the face of the earth. <laughs> it's like okay, I'm like okay. It is a strange system, but no, uh, I am not just a streamer. I was streaming before I even made reviews, and I'm going to continue making reviews while streaming, because that's something I like to do. Streaming's fun. Mm -hmm. New Oldman listener here, who uses EFAP to assist his son with critical thinking skills. He wants us to do a Rise of Skywalker EFAP-style EFAP viewing when the DVD is released. Keep up the great work, and thank you. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um... I hope your son's old enough for this to be suitable content, that's all. <laughs> I don't know if uh, sometimes sometimes there are words that are used or concepts that are covered that could be considered adult. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. But, uh, hmm. Awesome stuff. As a diabetic, I disavow diabetes on behalf of my people. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hmm. They, a lot of them disavow. Uh, Mauler, I binged half of Buffy season 6 in two days and finished it. Why must you break my heart? Yeah, that ending, man. That, uh, that's a roller coaster, And it's what makes a lot of people pick season 6 to be their favorite. Um, hey, you threw it, though. You made it. <gasps> and I will put you through it one day, Rags. One day. Could be years from Buffy. now. Could be eventually, yeah. Just, even if, even if you don't like the entire thing, I'll want you to see it just so you can comment on it. Uh, do you think Twi'leks ask for you to yank on their head tails? Absolutely, I think they do. <laughs> I was gonna say, how could they not? Absolutely they do. No doubt in my mind. Uh, youtube.com slash blah 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 blah, specific timestamp, it's efap49 apparently. Mola, when are you going to let the rest of us plebs have access to the spider oracle? Also, high rags? Hello. Stupid YouTube made me fudge their URL. That's that's fine. Um, do you wanna do you wanna check this out while I keep reading? Cause I don't know if it's anything we should uh, anything specific, interesting. Apparently that's the URL. He said efab forty nine at that timestamp. So, oh, let me look it up. Let's take a look. See here. Take Hello. a little look. Hello, boys. I'm currently look. making a video on efab. Muller, I have some questions in your Discord DMs. If you can help me out on some history and stuff. History and stuff? Uh, the podcast talk, there's a lot of EFAP historians in there if you need any help with like... 154.36 Things that work with EFAP, especially uh, EFAP.me will have a lot of information. Hopefully that uh, gives you everything you need. Drat, he didn't disable Super Chats this time either. We'll be here a while. Also, hello Muller and Rags. Hope you both have a splendid evening. Why, thank you. I think Rags is because oh, uh, basically you you were saying like uh, what if like basically what if JJ uh pretty much undoes the Last Jedi not the Force Awakens but the Last Jedi. 
I mean, well, he kind of kind of did that. So uh, good job, JJ. Now, obviously, I have access to many intelligent spiders. Uh, I'm gonna say that the top comment of EFAP49 is TLJ is a love letter to a uh, love letter to Star Wars, like the atomic bomb was a love letter to Hiroshima. So yeah. I think that's a fairly accurate way to describe it. Perfectly comparable. Perfectly comparable. Uh, can you say the longest city in Wales? I, I can only do it in pieces, but uh, no. We it's... give it a try on episode 50. I think I've tried it a few times. I, I could have sworn I did it on the last EFAP, but it's... Um, yeah. Because they've written it out for me. It's Lanfair Pool Gwyn Gilgorger drop will anti silly go 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 go. It's ridiculous, but uh, if, if I was to like hear someone pronounce it several times, I could probably learn it eventually. But it's it's um it's a nightmare. I mean, the people who live there must know how to pronounce it for the most part. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a right of passage. or maybe they don't, or maybe they don't. Um, do do do. What if Star Wars Episode Nine had lore in Raid Shadow Legends? Well, then we'd all be playing it, obviously. Yeah, then obviously I would want to. I'd want to know what the lore is. I gotta get my Star Wars lore. Oh, and follow up from uh, the the Oldman viewer. He said his son is fifteen, and uh, it's what he hears on this is nothing compared to what he's exposed to by his peers. All right. Hmm. I was gonna say by fifteen what? there wasn't much that would uh, surprise me anymore, but see. I was still pretty sheltered at fifteen. I had seen a, a lot of scary and crazy things by then. And the internet. I'd already been exposed to plenty. Thank you, internet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and someone, they're still doing those little stickers as well. Uh, hmm. if, well. I can't not see it as rags. Like, every time I see it, I'm just like, it's rags! It is me! <laughs> uh, ever played Splinter Cell? This is my first favorite game. I haven't Which played one? it myself. Not but... the first one. I haven't played the first one, no. I always hear good things about it. I got it, in with Conviction was kind of when I started playing, and mm. like both, I like both it and Blacklist quite a bit. Uh, Captain Marvel porn parody review. When we did consider doing that for EFAP sixty nine, it's just that there is a weird factor. Okay, <laughs> there is the uh, yeah, there is the aspect that it is porn. There is a weird, but factor. that is a legit good idea. It's funny though, yeah, just to see what the plot is because there is going to be a plot. Uh, there's got yeah, there's got to be a plot. Do you think EFAP will get so popular that it becomes impossible to read all the Super Chats in one stream and catch-up streams? Uh, oh, it says catch-up streams become more common. I think catch-up streams will possibly become more common, yeah. but um, Probably. I would say so. But that's alright. Me and Rags yeah. like responding to these uh, questions and stuff and make sure everybody gets what they were, um, well, donating money for. And we've caught it's up not... several times. There's no reason why we can't do it again. Oh, yeah. It's not a bad problem to have. Not at all. Round two, Rags, Thrawn in Rebels, hot or not? Thrawn in Rebels, let's take a look. I think you're not allowed to say no, I think, with this one. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Though so he doesn't, well... Like, I'm seeing a lot of images. The ones that don't look too fantastic are probably the ones from Rebels, to be honest. Yeah. No, I don't think he's hot. He looks like Squidward. He looks a bit weird, yeah. I, but I think there's a lot of fan art that looks way better. Like, Oh, yeah. The fan art of him looks way Um, Hi again, Maul. Hello. Also, you guys seen anything of Star Wars Rebels? It's merely bad, but Thrawn is my favorite ever. I have not seen I any saw, Rebels. I saw H Hera Syndulla. She's all right. Oh, I um, I mean, I've seen some clips on YouTube from Rebels, but I haven't seen any episodes. I guess is what I mean. Uh, do Twilight's curtains match the drapes? Ew. What if they had like little tentacles like Ew. along the side of their the the vaginal slit there? Maybe that were designed to like they they were prehensile, so they could like move it and they could coil around your penis. Maybe that is. A good thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that works out. And... I mean, it, yeah, maybe it helps to secure the mail in place for fertilization. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm trying to make it sound really clinical and not creepy at all. Um, I was Star talking Wars. about a critique of Star Wars The Force Awakens series, which has been abandoned for 10 months, during which you stream constantly. <laughs> okay. Constantly. 
So, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, just yeah, every single day streaming. Uh, yeah, just streaming constantly, and it's not like there's you know twenty four hours seven times every week, and you could spend that time doing a wide variety of different things. Just yeah, shit out massive videos. I'll just do the the response that I've given a couple of times. So first of all, me spending ten hours around on average of my week doing whatever I want, and that in this case can be looked at as EFAP. It's ridiculous to um, try and say that that is what's preventing me from making videos. At this point, I'm not allowed to have free time, if that's going to be your uh, position. Which No, no free time allowed. Yeah, it's not, it's not happening, um, in terms I'll of a criticism. Play makes smaller as he should be. Secondly, um, let's look at all the videos I've made since that video. Which, you're right, was December 25th, 2018, so we are one year and a month since then. Got um two audio three audio commentaries. Um oh wait, sorry. I've I've missed so it's March fifth, so it's not a year actually. It's uh it's coming up too, so we're still under it. But yeah, we've got the um the April Fool's video, the two hour Captain Marvel video, forty minute Game of Thrones one, fifty minute Game of Thrones one, two and a half hour Game of Thrones one, the two hour Star Wars one, and one and a half hour another audio commentary. And all of them are my highest editing quality. Like I, they've all got clips for every visual. Um, takes a very long time to make all of those. Uh, I've got people who are fans of Game of Thrones saying I've abandoned the Game of Thrones one. I've got people about the video games one saying I've abandoned the video game series, which I don't know. Uh, like at least the other ones make sense. I don't know which of the video game series I'm supposed to have abandoned because they're all finished. Um, other than me having said that I wouldn't mind covering some more games in future. You know, it's always possible. Mm. Um, but that goes the same for Star Wars. So, I guess you don't know about this, but the whole reason I didn't make another part of Force Awakens yet was because when I redrafted part 6 at around September, I was like, I could start making this now. The only problem is I talk about Rey's lineage as well as like the state of the universe in that video. And if I uh, had released it a couple weeks before Rise of Skywalker, the second Sky Rise of Skywalker comes out, loads of what's in that video becomes obsolete, and almost like I'm apparently unaware of uh, how a lot of it works. So I figure I'll wait, I'll work on other things until Rise of Skywalker comes out, then I'll redraft the Force Awakens script so that I can more accurately describe, the, the like retroactively criticize uh, Force Awakens based on where the trilogy goes. So, ultimately what I'm trying to say is, uh, that series comes out in w when it can. Um, it cannot exist in the way that I want it to, and be rushed. Like, those two things can't coexist. And the only concern you should probably have is whether or not I'm working. And, as I've just been over, I did a shit ton of work that year, and I'm planning on doing more this year, but that hasn't included anything from Moolah, which is all of the, um, like, Batwoman stuff, or EFAP movies which uh, I edited most of those. Now they've, they've I've managed to find editors for them, uh, which is part of the thing that I said I would try and do with moving on the channel. Um, and then, yeah, this uh, EFAP has a pretty, what I would call, passionate fan base now. So being the person of being like, hey, are you just going to do streaming? You're going you're gonna to piss off a lot of people who are like, excuse me, this is like the content that we love. So, like... People like videos as well, but there are now people out there, because uh, I was surprised to see them too, that actually prefer EFAP to both Rags and I's main videos. They, they, they prefer seeing so EFAP People love streams. podcasts, and I think that what we offer is really excellent. I listen to them over again, often. Um, and yeah, that's the thing. I really I, I enjoy EFAP, but I don't do it often enough for me to prevent, uh, to prevent me from making videos, which would be pretty evident by the fact that I've kept releasing videos. Obviously, there would have been more TFA videos, if not for Game of Thrones crashing and burning, worse than pretty much anything in 2019, which is quite the bar, isn't it? Like, yes, we have established that is a uh, that is a title that should earn you a medal. And I want to Most clarify the series. that uh, some people are like, you only did it because it was a hot topic. So, like, both of my uh, Game of Thrones videos got demonetized, so like, it was strictly because I had a lot to say about how much they destroyed something I loved, which again, was why I made the Star Wars stuff. It's gonna continue. Um, I'm currently making April Fool's videos, like I said at the beginning of the stream, and as soon as I'm done with them, I'm redrafting part three, and I'm hopefully gonna be uh, moving on with that. So, 
have some patience. The streams, if they didn't exist, wouldn't then mean that I create a whole bunch of videos. That's not how it works. Um, I hope that you can just just hang on, those who love that series, because more is coming. Yeah, and if uh, you think that there is a, a hole in the market for really insightful The Force Awakens commentary, then I would implore you to give it a try and maybe attempt to make one of your own uh, in the absence of Maulers. At the yeah, and I'm the, the thing that surprises me is like, I could get it if it was about Rise of Skywalker, I think, way more than I can about TFA. It's like, what's the desperation to hear me talk about what's wrong with TFA? Because, like, the criticism that you haven't finished a series that you promised would get finished, it's like, yeah, it will get finished. Like, there's, there's yeah. no doubt about that. Because um, I, I just, I don't like letting work go to waste, and I worked really hard on the script for the whole thing, so it's coming. Yeah, it's not that it wasn't finished fast enough. Yeah, in which case I'm like, you, I mean... Subscribe to me, right? Like, you know how long it takes for all this stuff to get made. And I just, yeah, I just find it weird. Like, there's loads of TFA uh, videos out there. If you really want to know what doesn't work about TFA in the, let's say, latter half of the movie, there's a lot of analysis videos that'll let you know. If mm -hmm. you just want to hear me talk about TFA or about movies, like, I'm still making videos. So, you know, and this podcast goes over a lot. So, yeah, uh, it's coming, and I'm sorry that you feel the way that you do. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, but I meant as in any history for prefab because Wolf Podcast was what is what is this comment? This is from someone else. I don't know if it's like attached to something else. Oh, it's the guy who said he was looking for a history. He said hopefully, but I meant as in any history for pre efap because Wolf's podcast was yeeted. If you still suggest the Discord, I'll give it a shot. Love y'all. There's not a lot of history there. Because um, I met Wolf around about the time his podcast started to stop. Like, me and Rags had, I think, three episodes with him, and then there was no more. Mm -hmm. um, and we covered all of the best... Oh, I say this, this is from memory. All the best videos mm -hmm. we covered on there, I think we tried to recover on uh, EFAP, because... for memes. Um, if you can't find them... I think... I, 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 I think that that was it. Like, I, I can't... Outside of the not-so-great debate, you're not missing much in terms of history there. Yeah, they were just a couple proto EFAPs, essentially. Mm hmm. Uh. Captain Marvel parody, just don't wear sweatpants. I've actually, uh, I went to go find it out of curiosity, and I was like, oh my god, it does exist. <laughs> it's like. Oh, I have no doubt that it exists. It's a f it is a narrative, for what I could gather. Uh, hey, Mola, how you doing? Hi, Rags. Hello. Yes, I'm doing good. Uh, did you see Computing Forever's video on Picard where he cited Quinton Reviews as a credible reviewer? Oh. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> Quinton himself mm, yeah, saying... Yeah, well, he's, he's only a credible reviewer if you interpret him as such. Quinton himself saying Picard is a love letter to TNG. Okay, so Quinton said Picard is a love letter to TNG, which from what I have heard recently couldn't be further from the truth. I've um, heard nothing but bad horribleness. And then Computing Forever cited Quinton Reviews as a credible source on that information. That, wow. Interesting. Uh, when should we expect the next Batwoman video? Uh, so Infinite Crisis Part 3 should be tomorrow. Uh, from what I what I expect. And we'll do a, a premiere. Be a fun, fun flimbly like flamble. I like that idea. Damn it, Rag, Conviction, and yes. Blacklist turned into action games. The old Splinter Cells hold up so well, except Pandora. Great. <laughs> Wait, is it Conviction and Blacklist the ones you liked, was it? Well, I like them both. I, they're the only ones I've played. I'm sure the older ones are fine. I just didn't mm -hmm. get into them. I just never played them. Uh, review? So, yeah, yeah, like that, that happens a lot with, like, for example, enjoying... Uh, Fallout 3 is like sacrilegious to people who love Fallout 1 and 2 because Fallout 3 is such a drastic change from uh, Fallout 1 and 2's format, I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. And this applies to a lot of game series. Like, I remember liking Bioshock was frustrating for people who loved System Shock because they were like, you realize this is like the spiritual successor and it's shit compared. And it's like, oh, well. First off, that's not true. All right. What now? That it's shit? <laughs> that it's shit. 
Well, I love Bioshock, but... Uh, I I'd, love Bioshock. I'd have to, I guess, play it again if someone brought, like, specific criticisms, because I haven't played it in a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, review the Captain Marvel porn parody on Jay's channel. It doesn't really matter if the channel goes down. Hashtag kick Jay with porn. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. I'm not worried about it going down. Like, we're not going to play it. We'll just talk about it. Uh, Raggers, extra kibble if you review Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds? Well, when it comes out on Steam, maybe I will. Why can't you make feature-length videos every week, you wobbly dildo? <laughs> That's from Captain yeah. uh, Capital Opinions, the guy we've uh, showed his videos a couple times. That's right, yeah. And yeah, uh, my videos are fucking a nightmare video? to make sometimes. The, the... Yeah, videos are hard. Like, they, well, they can be, certainly, but video editing, like the video aspect of it, that can take a long time. And depending on how much you script and redraft and write things out and double check and triple check and quadruple check, the video can take a long time to get ready to make. And uh, yeah, the the latest Game of Thrones one I did, that was three straight months. It was a nightmare, but I was really happy with what I came out with. And if someone was like, there only took you long because you were doing EFAP, I'd be like, oh. Just, uh, I yeah, guess at that point, I'd be like, recreate it. Recreate my video, but with your own commentary, obviously, and your own clips. And I just I just want to see how long it takes you to do uh, this the same degree of editing and analysis. Just go ahead. Let's see how long it takes yeah, you. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, it actually is already a fictional species with a long, controllable clitoris called a Sergal. It's weird. Oh, I know about Sergals. Yeah. Is that Star Wars or is that something else? Some I, mean, I don't know why it's people. Like, it's like a. It's like a. How? What, what, you're so. You're like. Oh, what? Control no, I was just. I was thinking to myself, like, oh, is that because we like, were on Star second, Wars? The, and then I was like, wait, that wouldn't be Star Wars, right? Because why yeah, would George like Lucas? Furry thing. <laughs> yeah. Like fucking weird. I Wait, like someone said Rags review wildlife furry game. Um, let me look. <laughs> uh, wildlife game. Oh, this. Yeah, someone sent me a. Uh, someone sent me like a, like a trailer of all the stuff. It looks pretty extensive. Like with with the different kinds of things that can be fucking in this game. It is a. Uh, <laughs> It's pretty extensive. Uh, I like EFAP more for background noise. I tend to want that more than watch something. Also, high Rex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Hello? I said, there. Are, I mean, it's not stupid to say EFAP is big enough now because this is one of our offshoot spin-off, just recovering super chats episodes, and we're up to a view count that's like, I would call that significant. Like the the fan base for EFAP is pretty big now, so I know there's a lot of people out there who prefer EFAP to like anything me and Rags do. So. We got, uh, we got, we, 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 that's like a show that is, um, want, like if we say, for example, me and Rags just started making videos only and stopped streaming, we'd have a lot of angry people on our hands. Yeah. Um, but like I said, the streaming is something I've always done anyway. So, and, and Rags does. It's not, mm -hmm. this is not taking away from making videos. Uh, I finished yeah, that's the, not like how, yeah. I finished the EFAB catalog twice already. I listen every day at work. I appreciate all content, but EFAB gives a great outlet for friends to discuss stuff and still learn multiple points of view. Yeah, there you go. Uh, review Dark Souls Prepare to Die or Prepare to Jedi, Fallen Order. I don't think I'll be reviewing that ever, but I kind of want to play through it. I still do. I'm, I'm behind on that. Um, how, how much did you play it? Did you play like it Like two all? hours. Yeah, that's about what I did. I've done about four hours. I, I it's it's one of those games where I, I sat down and I played it for four hours when I first bought it and I just haven't gone back and played it again. Um uh so yeah, maybe one of these days I'll get around to finishing it. It just I don't I didn't find it very interesting. Mm -hmm. It was fine, but I did I didn't find it very engaging or interesting. Uh for me, the worry is not you abandoning your critiques. It's more about seeing how massively successful EFAP is and worrying that you'll abandon videos that will probably be demonetized in favor of the more lucrative option. Well, like I said, uh I made those Game of Thrones videos despite taking like three months of full time and it got demonetized anyway, and I was like, well and that was after the previous one did, so I was just like, I guess uh that's just the way it is. And that's fine, because I am not taking out swearing in my unbridled rage videos. That's just not gonna happen. It, it's like it's way too natural a part of the script to, um, you know, elevate the parts that are more frustrating in order to make the valleys more pronounced as well. 
Uh, and also, I mean, the alternative would be that he works just on the big, big videos that are few and far between. Um, and then they get demonetized and he doesn't have the EFAP money in the meantime. Yeah, I mean, that could end up being worse in, in a couple yeah, of ways. So um, but I, I really want to stress that uh, if EFAP never, like if I never met Rags and Wolf and EFAP just never happened, I'd still be streaming probably once per week. Because I like streaming. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. <laughs> and I know that the point of the Super Chat was that it's so successful, it might take you away from wanting to make videos. And it's like, well, I'm still going. EFAP's been successful now for... How how long would you say EFAP's been, quote-unquote, successful, right? A year or...? Something like that. Like, quote-unquote, successful. Yeah, it depends on what you mean by that. I mean, I've always enjoyed doing it. I think it's helped me out a great deal. When just when I look at movies and everything, it's mm -hmm. it, it's been a huge a huge benefit to me. But I guess success is in the eye of the beholder and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's definitely helped uh, with my eye on on my own videos too. But uh, no, I won't be abandoning video making. It's just not it's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to what I'm gonna come up with with 2020. I'm already I've made one video. There's two more being made right now that are gonna get completed within the next two weeks, and then I'm making another video. Like like. Obviously, they're smaller, but if we're going by video essay rules, right? Like, I got to make 12 times 10 minutes in one year to be considered active. Um, That's 120 minutes. That's one two-hour video. I already did that with Star Wars. I'm done. <laughs> Rags, I did it for the year already. You did it. Hooray. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, don't worry. It's not going to happen. I'll let you guys know if I get burnt out. Most creators do. Like, I'm not going to have any shame about that if it ever happened. Mental states are always uh, important to be clear about so that people know what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of video creation, like not actual like personal details, just if if I get burnt out, I'll tell you. I'm not uh, as of as of right now. Good content takes time. We can wait. Take as long as you need. Stay rested and healthy and all that fun stuff. Yes, ma'am. Pretty much. That's the other thing with EFAB is it's a lot of socializing, which helps uh, with the whole. If you stay in the editing minds for hours on end, you're like, hey. Humans. Yeah, video editing can be a drag sometimes. Uh, seriously, Mola, how empty is your room? Invest in some acoustic acoustic pads. Uh, here, this should get you one. I mean, I never thought of that. I I didn't. Re I th I figured I sounded fine. I didn't realize it was noticeable, but you do sound fine. But I was just wondering if it was ever something that you'd ever like considered. Perhaps. Um. The link you have for the Mueller archive says the channel doesn't exist. Frank Adams? In channel. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's pooped itself because I must have copied it from a, uh, a video description instead of its origin. I can fix that one moment. I get it. Wait when it does that. But yeah, it is fixed. Thank you for letting me know. You bastard. Hi, Rags. Nazi vampires today? Hello. Yes. As far mm. as I know. Thank everyone. Yeah, thank everyone. I double checked with everyone to make sure people were down for it. And so far, Sargon is the only one who hasn't gone back to me. Dun, so dun, dun. he's our wild card. But I think so. Yeah, everyone else is good. If any one of you don't show up, do you have to not do it? Uh, let me double check. Uh, I just assume that that's, that's how it works with the game. Yeah, we, we don't if someone's not there because then they can't be a part of the session. They'll have to kind of catch up with all the stuff that we did in their absence. And, you know. uh, could you tell Shad that in his fight scene autopsies, he keeps referring to shots as scenes? As a cinematographer, it irks me. Love you guys. Um, Yeah, I guess. I'm sure he knows the difference. He might just be saying it um, in yeah, arbitrary. Yeah, probably just speaking colloquially. In Re is Revenge of the Sith an objectively bad movie? I think out of the prequels, it's the best and has enough redeeming qualities to give it some praise. <sighs> Honestly, I need to watch it again before making... I can't really make a strong claim until I rewatch the prequels, which we are planning to do, because we got yes. prequel coverage to do, but again, this is on a very long list of EFAPs that are planned. I mean, fucking hell, it took us a while to get to uh, Ralph's Joker video. video. Yeah, so. we still have to rewatch Joker just to make sure. Mm-hmm. But um, I know that it's got redeeming qualities for sure. Uh, how much of them there are and how significant they are, they are I'd have to rewatch it. But, I mean, you know, for clarification, I really like Revenge of the Sith. Um, 
up there. Yeah, on, I think on... it's my favorite of the three. Oh, for definite of the prequels, and I like it over any Disney Star Wars movie. So, so it's up there. I mean, BW episode ten that came out on Monday. Oh, Batwoman. Yeah. So we haven't watched that yet. We're gonna wait until episode eleven comes out and record them back to back. I think because it makes the most sense in terms of taking advantage of time. Um, the reason we're not rushing yet is because the editor hasn't caught up with um, the other videos we've got, which is fine, because he was given quite a few at the same time. So, we are catching up. We'll, we'll be, eventually we'll be back on track. So instead of weekly, they're coming out every five days, which means as time works, uh, we will eventually catch up. And unlike the makers of the show, we want to try and make some semblance of sense. Mm-hmm. There's a GoFundMe for that Star Wars guild to be at the front of a human centipede. Please show your support. Um. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> as opposed to being, I mean, I guess you'd want to be at the front. Yeah, front. yeah. I guess you want to. Yeah, you want to be the front. Hmm. I mean, well, I think the only winning move is not to play at all. But... If if that's her goal, good luck to her. I if hope. That's her, yeah. yeah if that is. I don't know if that's her fetish. I guess. Uh, if you really love Bioshock, then name five biologies. Um, <laughs> I was yeah, actually still processing that. Give the first question I have is like, shit, a biology is a thing. A bio is it like when you in biology? No, no, no. Name a biology. Like biologies must be like a thing you can apply in Bioshock, and I've completely forgotten. I don't remember. Um. Yeah, I mean, like I haven't played Bioshock in years, but I know that I love it. Uh. Yeah. And the I parts... played the first one a couple years ago. It's really good. Holds up well. But yes, I uh biologies. I'm yeah, assuming man, some kind of modifier. I don't know what you mean. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Guns are initiated on but oh. I'm not getting results I expected. Bioshock abilities. Okay, well either way, uh you know what I probably will mean... replay it eventually. Like soon Yeah, I don't mm. I don't know what you mean. Telekinesis, shock, etc. No, those are plasmids, not biologies. Biologies? There's no... I don't think anyone refers to plasmids as biologies, do they? I've never heard it before. Is there? Is that like a thing? Is that a fan thing? Wow, fake gamer Someone, girl. I, I agree, noob cobra, fake gamer girl detected. Well, Mel said that probably, it's probably made up. I don't know if it's made up. I I, I can't remember. It's a joke, but I, we wanted to make sure it's not a joke. We want to make sure. I was gonna say Google having no results. It probably is a joke, but um, I could have believed it that they had modifiers called biologies. Like, but that does actually sound kind of clunky, doesn't it? it? Does. Uh, what do you think is the worst in terms of waste? Ruining Fury's eye patch backstory for a bad joke, or killing General Akbar off screen? It's Admiral Akbar. Akbar. God. Um, yeah, it's much worse to just arbitrarily kill Akbar, as far as I'm concerned. Making yeah, Fury's backstory a joke is really annoying. Killing yeah. Admiral Akbar is just fucking, like, screw you. Yeah, <laughs> like, pretty, okay, then. Yeah, fuck off with that shit. Um, does anyone ever feel that EFAP treats Jay almost the same way RLM treats Rich Evans? We would never treat Jay. That good. Yeah, I was gonna say that's 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 ridiculous. Apparently, wait, what, what did we miss? Yeah, there's two ologies. Big ass whoosh. Apparently, we missed something. I legitimately don't. I legitimately don't understand. There's two two ologies. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> by Bi no biology like two but i still don't get it what am i missing i still don't get it either Chat, okay. explain the, the whoosh to me i feel i feel like a, a man in a desert right now i have nothing oh hey honey what's up uh anything you're looking forward to movie slash game in 2020 oh there's a bunch right for uh, games cyberpunk Doom Eternal. Ori. Um, Ori 2, I guess. Yeah, so I try not to get too excited for games mm. now, especially because <laughs> so often they just end up, turn up being shit. For some reason, I was about to say that I was like, I probably shouldn't say this. Like, games are more reliable than movies, though, right? Just like, well. Mm. 
that's the question, which is more unreliable. And you're like, gosh, I'd have to actually seriously give that question some thought. Apparently it's a two genders joke. Hmm. If you really love Bioshock, then name five biologies. That's a two genders joke. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have caught that. I still don't understand it. If you said if you if you said you'd give me a hundred dollars if I explained that joke, <laughs> I wouldn't I I wouldn't be able to do it, man. Maybe it is the I don't know. I'll I'll keep an eye. Uh, I I'm sure chat someone will will translate for me. Uh, I grew up on yeah. the DC AU, so how they treated Kevin Conroy in Crisis is a huge middle finger. If nineteen nine Batman Beyond came out in nineteen ninety nine, it was also called Batman of the Future in some places. He played old Bruce in that show. Um, yeah, I I knew that when we were going to show that episode, that when you see it what happens to it, yeah, people are just going to be upset. We were watching that. Fringy lost his. Like, it's it was a. It's, we were like, what the fuck? Oh, like, apparently this is, it? this is another take. The joke is apparently, oh, you like math so much, then name all the the, the name all the numbers, like that 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 kind of joke. I I, I can follow that. I think I. Like you like Bioshock? Name five biologies. For. I get that. Okay, I follow. I follow that more so. I I I get it. It's okay. Thanks for your money. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, what that do you was... think your next unbridled praise will be? That will be Joker. Um, I'm already gearing up to potentially think about how I'm going to be making that. Um, after my next other bigger video. I'm kind of hoping 2020 just calms the fuck down and I don't have anything new to cover so I can just get on with all the things I want to make. It'll mm -hmm. be fine. But, uh, because new stuff just gets me all fired up and I'm like, nah, I want to cover this right now. Uh, if a teenage orphan becomes a father, does he risk injuring himself due to having both low bone density and dad strength? Oh. Yeah, he could really put himself in a situation his body just isn't prepared for. Hmm. I don't know, but that's a good question. Who among the EFAP hosts and regular guests would make the best DM? What would the EFAP adventuring party look like? I feel like Rags probably, because I don't, I don't know how to do it at all. And then I've been thinking about doing some DM stuff. Um, I would, I would, if there was ever an EFAP, uh, if there was ever an EFAP DM uh, Dungeons and Dragons game, I would. I think I you'd would be absolutely, the DM, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd absolutely do the, the be the DM for that. And I guess. If you can answer this, because I wouldn't even know how to answer this. Like, what would the EFAP adventuring party look like? Like, what would each what of our classes be? I think we've been asking this. Uh, I, we've been asked this before. I, I'm a bard. And, and absolutely, I'm a bard. That's actually easy for me. Mahler is... Um... Hmm. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see. I just want to see if I can get a, just a list of all of them here so I don't leave any of them out. Um, let's see. Classes. Just give me a list. Give me a list. <laughs> Molly, you're not so a racist. Got... Name every black person. <laughs> uh, you would be a... Let's see. You are accurate, long... <laughs> Their class uh, for this. So here, so let me name the ones here, um, or at least RPG class list. Here's a here's a prompt. How come when I click on an image in Google Images, it doesn't bring up that image? It brings up a different image. Is Google broken right now? Uh, they've been fucking with the image display thing on it a couple of times. It might be a bit broken. Anyway, here's a here's the here are the classes right. So there's barbarian. Bard, cleric, druid, fighter, monk, paladin, ranger, rogue, sorcerer, warlock, wizard. I think you would be a paladin. My reasoning is that a paladin generally lawful good or similar, right? They hold up, you know, the virtue, you know, a virtue of goodness, stuff like that, right? You are big onto objectivity you'd be like an objectivity paladin and you would not be swayed by subjective arguments like a, a good paladin isn't swayed by evil right 
Uh huh. And you are you 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 wear heavy armor and stuff, right? You're like a knight, so you're prepared to defend objectivity. Um. So I think you'd be a paladin. Um. Fringy, I feel like he'd be like a like a rogue. Yeah, I think that would make sense. He'd be roguish. Um Jay would be Jay would be the cart. <laughs> uh no, Jay would be Jay would be a Jay would be a wizard because he's a fucking nerd. No, no, he'd be a cleric. Jay would Jay isn't very Jay isn't offensive at all, right? Yeah. So but he's kind of got that nerdy sort of look to him. So I would make him a cleric. Um Five paladins are allowed to be any limit. Yeah, I'm talking about classic paladin, knight in shining armor paladin here. Um uh, yeah, someone else said rogue doctor. Yeah, fringy black knight. <laughs> He's green. What are you talking about? What who else we got? We have who who are other big regulars who'd be a part of that? Um, um Jay Longbow, I, maybe. <laughs> I, I would say that Wolf would be a I'm thinking a barbarian. Yeah, I think that could make sense. Yeah, I think barbarian. Uh, what Fringy is the guy that steals stuff? Oh my god! Oh no! no. <laughs> but yes. Um, let's see. Who else in our list? Jay Jay Longbone would be a. I think she'd be a. I think she'd be a. Um, you could probably be a barbarian, can't you? A bar. I, I almost want to say she's like a mix of a bard and a barbarian. A barbarian. Oh, I uh, guess. I guess metal wants to be classed. Metal would be a. Uh, metal. What would metal be? Metal would be. Because he's he seems like jack of all trades ish. Um, like I wouldn't put metal into any specialty. But he's real. He's well rounded, mm -hmm. so I would say that he might be, um, a monk. There you go, metal. You can be Monks. a monk. Yeah, I I think metal would be a good monk. Um, let me see. Uh, someone's saying Shad. Shad would probably be a fighter, like a good old classic fighter warrior type. Um, Unless you just said no, aided would be the paladin. Do you have more than one paladin? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Aiden, go. what's he? I think Aiden would be more of a. She does a lot of research, right? She does her videos have a lot of research. Um, she's good with sarcasm. She's very loquacious. I would part. I would probably put her as a warlock, right? I would probably make Aiden a warlock. Um. Who else we got? Um, uh, let's see. Ra? Oh, God. Ra's, a, Ra's definitely a barbarian. <laughs> um, I got a free Wendy in chat. <laughs> Absolutely free Wendy. <laughs> um, let's see. Longbone would be a warlock? Maybe. Um, uh, da 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 da. Metal is a priest because he is gay. <laughs> an the logic. Iron door handle. So is it an iron door handle? <laughs> uh, a scald. Oh, there you go. Absolutely, a scald, uh, like a pathfinder barbarian bard. Um, what class would Jared be? Jared would be fucking barbarian with retard strength. <laughs> That's he'd be. Jesus Christ. Um. Yes, Des, Des bullshit. Or... Das, uh, he, who'd he be? Das would be a. I don't know. It's tough to get a beat on him for a class, honestly. Um, yeah. like a jokester type class, or like an illusionist or a sorcerer, maybe. Because he creates the fake images that are like movies and stuff like that. Um. Rags, where can I watch you play games? So I play two currently. Um, on Arch Warhammer's channel, we do In the Claws of the Eagle, which is our uh, Nazi vampire game we play on Wednesdays. And on Fridays, I play Winter's End on the channel Swamp Playing Games. 
So every Friday I play with uh, the guys over there. Mm-hmm. Two good bunches. Um, what monster type would Movie Bob be? He'd be a slime. <laughs> <laughs> but like an absurdly healthy one, I but, guess. But no, I don't like a really... He'd be like if you had if you had a monster zoo and you had to find an extremely fine specimen of each monster, he would like be a zoo slime. Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, Jose asked, uh, "Force Awakens when is it even relevant to continue?" Um, I first made yeah. that like two and a half years after the film came out, so. I'm not worried about relevancy. And I want to make videos on Predator, like the original, and Alien and Aliens. So in terms of relevancy, like, we'll be fine uh, for stuff. Anyway, uh, you should watch Transformers Prime and check out Revenge of the Prequels. Do any of those sound uh, familiar? I've heard of Revenge of the Prequels. I don't, know, I don't exactly know what it is, though. Transformers Prime? Is that like a some kind of knockoff movie, that's what I'm assuming, I don't know. Or maybe it's some, a TV show, I don't know. I'm not sure about those two, but fair enough. Um, you should watch the movie Velocipaster. Oh, someone else recommending it. Uh, oh, I've heard of It may be the most amazing bad movie ever. Alright, we can, uh, I will put that in the old notaroos. We've got a lot of potential free fat movies that we struggle to get to. Right. Um, also, High Wags, High Long Man. Hello. Hello. Who's the editor for the Batwoman videos? Uh, his name is Ben, and his Twitter handle is in the description for the videos that he edits. Uh, he's a nice man. I like him, and uh, he should be editing all Batwoman videos going forward. Uh, you like EFAP? Name every Nazi. Also, hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. I can name most Nazis. Got that Mola one, Rags. Yeah. We're, That's we're bullshit. J, Fringy, we're Wolf. Uh, metal's not though because he's German um, by the way we, kn- we know that the joke was that Aiden should be a paladin because her name is Aiden Paladin we wait, get it they thought that we missed we that. understand <laughs> someone, said that, someone said it went over our heads like no 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 we get it but I'm trying to think of like he was basing most, like, yeah you're basing classes yeah. off our like uh, attributes as creators yeah not that the I mean, because for the rest of us, we don't actually have classes mm-hmm. in our names, unless Commander is a class. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, Revenge of the Prequels is Anomaly Inc.'s takes on prequel hate videos. Fair enough. Uh, Satan sends his Satan sends his best wishes. Okay, <laughs> the, thanks, the, Satan. they donated six 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 as well. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Satan. Satan's a good guy. Uh, I you know a lot of people, a lot of a lot of stuff said about him. I don't know if it's hundred percent true. Just saying, just putting it out there. He doesn't have the highest death count in the Bible. Uh, thoughts on the lighthouse? Uh, so we'll probably we save that, that for yeah. um, the stream, I guess. Because we, we, I was, I said to some people, we're probably going to do a set of like mini reviews at the beginning of the Ralph stream. Um, with all the videos that we yeah, watched was, over the past two weeks. It was one of the ones we saw. We saw the lighthouse. I guess the the quick version is I liked it. Uh, through the roof in production elements, story is strange. But uh, yes, clearly allegorical. I liked it, but I won't get into more detail than for now. Uh, Cosmo Variety Hours Star Wars vid thoughts on it. Um, so he's made three, and we hope in future to cover all three. We're gonna do like a, a trilogy where we cover the OT Star Wars films, the prequel Star Wars films, and then his take on the uh, the sequel ones. Because apparently, there's some references to being objective about film. And uh, it'll be some fun to discuss while also going over how he's just, like, no personal uh, hits against him. He's just not very good at his job. It's, it's like yeah, the... his, his videos are basically worthless. <laughs> he's just like, so he's hideously terrible. inaccurate. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it'd be and fun it's not to go like over we have how... an unreasonable standard. It's just don't say things that aren't true. I don't, there's not, nothing unreasonable about that. And, and it it's be not too a standard hard. that he can hold himself to. Uh, quick, save Akbar's dream. Oh, I get it. Save the dream. Save Akbar's dream. <laughs> um, we're gonna go to get the Bilbo meme context. 
That would be. Oh, we did that in was EFAP. that one of the wolf ones? Yeah, but we. Was that we EFAP one or Proto EFAP? It was Proto EFAP, but we redid it in EFAP. Um, I can't remember what episode it was though that we redid it. It must have been an early one, I imagine. Because I, I imagine searching for EFAP Bilbo is not gonna <laughs> like it's not gonna do it. Maybe it was. I mean, the first result is EFAP twenty one. I don't know if that was the one where we redid it. It could be. Um. Need an EFAP historian for that one. But uh, we did definitely recover the video because it was uh, it's really good shit. Did you know about Neum Nub? Uh co pilot with Lando in the OT died on Tantif 4, rebel ship from episode 4's beginning, from Sheev's Lightning and Rise of Skywalker. F. What? Yeah, I knew about that. Um He did? He's dead, yeah. Did they show that in the film? You see it's very brief. You see him like getting electrocuted and his ship blowing up. Or like partially blowing up, and um, it's what? been confirmed that he's dead. Fucking hell, man! <laughs> so it's just a moment of like, but why? Why would why? why? Why him? They're just like, yeah, fuck this guy. He was the, another galactic war hero who should be living in luxury because he helped blow up the Death Star. But nah, just fuck it, kill him. Oh well, rip Neum Nub. I wonder what was going through his mind at that point. <sighs> why are we here? Just to suffer. Also, Jesse, we talked about 1917. We'll talk about it more on the next EFAP. It's okay. Oh my god, he was there just to suffer. Oh my god, it yep. was a joke, but I'm sad. Very <laughs> oh applicable. God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no. Um, oh, what is this fresh I'm, hell? I'm skipping ahead to that new, that new one that says Cosmonaut put Iron Man 3 above Civil War. He is a dumb. Yes, he is a dumb. Oh my god, he fucking did? How can Ooh. people be so stupid? Fuck me, and the ass all sideways. Hey man, it's all subjective. I guess it is. It's all subjective. The room, the lighthouse, same film. 1917, uh <laughs> Alpha and Omega Three. Bat Women, it's all fucking the same. They're uh... all just they're all fuck it. The EFAB fan community on Facebook had a Rise of Skywalker watch party, and it was an absolute blast of memes, drinking, and debating the big gay. Pandalorian oh, is next. That That's sounds cool. foreign. That sounds fun. But I just, uh, when you watch Mandalorian, try to hold it to the same standard that you hold the Rise of Skywalker well, to. Well, uh, that chat just described it as Pandalorian, so maybe they're not on board with Mandalorian. Pandalorian? Yeah. Oh, that's not how I describe it at all. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's pandering. I mean, certain elements maybe, but... Um... Maybe, but it is it is the least of all of its sins. But yeah, uh, sounds fun. Good stuff. What is your opinion on Elden Ring, the new souls? I don't know anything about it. I hope it's good. That is my detailed opinion. What about you, Rex? The what now? Elden Ring. I don't know what that is. I, I think it's supposed to be um, the... Is it the Miyazaki game with influences from George R. R. Martin, I, I think? I don't know. I think more people probably know about it in chat than I do, but yeah, uh, I all I know is a new game is coming out, I hope it's good. I oh, would yeah, recommend absolutely. Monster Hunter World Iceborne to people who haven't bought it for PS4. Yeah, I think Monster Hunter World is good shit, so... Uh, the new DLC came out. Um, as far as I know, it's pretty good. Unbridled. Always got people on the Discord uh, playing that, yeah. Unbridled praise of EFAP Season 1 when? Uh, how that would even work? Oh my god, imagining unironically having to cover all that info. Mm-hmm, it would take a while. Jeez, that would be quite the task. Hello, do you consider making EFAP RLM prequels after your rewatch? YouTube throw me there and well. In my opinion, they aged poorly. Also high rags. Hello. Um, are you asking if we would cover the RLM prequel videos? Because, I mean... I feel like there would be better things to cover than them. I'm sure they're not perfect, but I remember them being fairly solid. Um, yeah. I can't recall, though. Yeah, it might be worth rewatching them just to, just to check out, but from, you know, after we see the prequels uh, again, we get a bit of yeah, better understanding, would, maybe we'll yeah, have a look. Yeah, that would be good, yeah. Uh, after we finish the prequels, watch the mm -hmm. blanket reviews. 
Uh, if streaming hasn't caused the delay, what did? Not trying to antagonize, just curious about the massive delay from the schedule you outlined in video one. Uh, the editing. I, I say that in part two. The, the, uh, so if you watch the TLJ critiques, a lot of it is gameplay footage, which isn't, I'm not condemning anyone who does that, because I did it. Um, but I decided to bump it toward every single visual matches what I say, which takes a really long time. Um, yeah, imagine do. every five seconds finding a clip, downloading what you need to, clipping the clip, putting that in where it needs to be. Um, that like, and now imagine that for a two-hour video. And so you might be like, well, then why don't you just do gameplay footage? And I'd be like, um, because I really like making my videos to the best of my ability. Um, I like having the visuals match, but uh, with perhaps different projects or new series, I will consider different formats. Um, but that, yeah, it's not because, and that would even make, like, even, even if um, it was all the same and I still hadn't made more, I haven't not made videos. Like, that's... It's like, I don't understand what's hard to, to grasp. Like, it's still making stuff all the time, and uh, the video quality, at least in my opinion, has uh, gone up significantly since the TLJ videos. The the script um, isn't necessarily extremely better or worse or anything, but the visuals certainly are. Even, like, I've, I've locked down resolution and aspect ratio much better than I used to as well. Um... So hopefully this stuff is noticed, but maybe not. <laughs> this is like... Yeah. I mean... Having all of your image, having all of your video footage be the same aspect ratio, is that something uh, a lot of people notice? So if you uh if you make videos and your aspect ratios don't always match and they're constantly becoming blurry and then clear again or they're zoomed in weird, well, that's the kind of stuff a lot of people notice. It's one mm -hmm. of those little things that you could do to just bump up that quality, you know. Uh, Mola would definitely be an eldritch knight. Really? I don't know. What do they do? I, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with them. I guess because uh, of the long man, like the stretchy arms and stuff, <laughs> like, and then the knight part could just be the eldritch objectivity. knight images. Uh, the archetypal eldritch knight combines the martial mastery common to all fighters with a careful study of magic. Eldritch knights use magical techniques similar to those practiced by wizards. These knights learn a comparatively small number of spells, committing them to memory instead of keeping them in a spell book. Um, I think that I was still right with the paladin, though. I think that he is a paladin of objectivity. Uh, I'd call Mauler a barbarian, just going off the unbridled rage. I mean, uh, it's a fair shout. There's, there's a potential yeah. set I could match. Um, he multi-classes, yeah. No, Aiden would be the paladin. N uh, no, 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 we definitely confirmed she would definitely not be the paladin. If only her name, uh... Could tell us exactly what she would be, you know, instead of having oh, to rely well. on different things. Yeah. Paladin with an oath of devotion to objectivity. Yeah, see, this guy yes. gets it. There you go. He gets it. He gets it. Uh, would Cynic be a Goliath? Yeah. Oh. Perhaps. Yo, long man and rags. Hello. Hello. Since this is apparently now a thing, rags, please rate the Springfield. Please rate Springfield from Girls Frontline. Springfield from Girls Frontline. Oh, and it says, Mole, you can do it too if you want. Yeah, uh, uh, th thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> I guess I got a... I'm looking at Google Images, I got like a guy version for some reason. Yeah, boy. Um, yeah, she looks... She looks lovely. And yeah. she knows how to slim, handle really a weapon. Slim figure. So. She does, yeah. She got that good old Springfield. I think it's a 1903. Um, yeah. I think so. I think a Springfield Mark One, yeah, an M nineteen oh three Springfield. Uh, I think. J a cleric like V rags. Are you trying to get him kicked? Well, that is essentially the ongoing goal. So, just he just keeps coming back, you know. J J just finds a way, crawls his way back. I imagine clerics have that power too. I don't know. It would match. Hmm. Uh, in Bruges, an inanimate fucking object wed. Uh, that would actually be a film I would mind uh, doing something for as well. Uh, but I don't know. That that would be on a on a list of like secondary projects. So maybe never. Maybe one day. But um, mm -hmm. 
uh yeah good good shit i'm gonna i'm gonna make rags watch that eventually as well good stuff cosmo put i'm in oh we read that rags do you play with my dax in the spg campaign uh my dax yeah I, uh, what we'll paste what you the mean? super chat what it says spg campaign uh i don't know what the spg campaign is yes we'll see uh at. uh yeah i i am i i don't know what you mean by that i legit don't know what you mean by that and the next one says might as well rags rate Musashi from the Kantai collection. Can you spell Musashi? M U. Oh no, it's on my. Oh, it's right there. Uh, Mus. Uh... Oh my! What are those? Are they weapons? Uh, let's see. Images. What a strange character. Um. I. That's a very odd character. I like the I don't know the hair is odd. It makes it makes her kind of look like an owl. Uh let's see. Slim athletic figure. Her breasts don't seem proportionate with the rest of her. Like they seem to I don't know, they just they just seem a little odd. Some of these are really good, but a lot of these are different artistic renditions. Uh, so I guess I'm just determining like the the general trends here. Uh yeah, she looks pretty good. I think I prefer uh Springfield more. If I had to choose between the two, I would pick Springfield personally. Mm -hmm. Uh and then so how is Breeders of Nephilim going, Wags? I haven't played it. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's the that is the definitive answer right there. There you go. Um Muller, is it true that the Welsh are fish folk from the Children of Dragon? I, 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 I don't know what the Children of Dragon is. Does that sound familiar to you? I just don't, don't, do you not know the history of your own people? Are you fish people? Um, well, what if we were fish people and I wasn't, like, I was vowed from, from birth to not be confirming stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Oop. Man, I do love swimming. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not say, I'm not saying I do swimming. or do not know. That that is my answer. Um love swimming. Obviously some of these will be weird because they're out of sync with with time, mm -hmm. but uh thanks for starting the year with racism, Rags. <laughs> I don't think we need um, context for that. <laughs> it's just perfect. You bet. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. It's always a good year for racism. Uh sending this cuz I love your channel and what you do. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I meant Dagon, not Dragon. Fuck autocorrect. Children of Dagon. Sounds more familiar. Children of Dagon. What is the, uh, the IP? Oh, it's a Lovecraft reference, yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, no, that's probably true. Uh, I'm not even gonna go ahead and deny that. Yeah, it's probably true. Scalies are so 2010. Just be a fairy, it's easier. I mean, I think that it's probably easier to get away with being a fairy than a scaly, right? Like, people would be more accepting of so? it. I don't know, actually, thinking about it. If someone had no context for either, which do you think would be quote-unquote easier to explain? <laughs> like... Well, um, it might actually be a furry because you could, that people might think it's like a sports mascot. You could, yeah, I mean, if we're being, if they have to be honest, though, about what it is. What about that? Oh, if they have to be honest about what it is? Mm-hmm. Uh... I don't know. I think it. I think to most people, it's just it's just it's a distinction without any real difference. You you say most people just find it weird no matter what. I think I think well yeah people are gonna find it weird especially if you actually explain it to them. In whatever capacity, your interest in that is, I think most people will just find it weird. I find it weird. It is weird. If if you don't think it's weird and you are one, you're not being honest with yourself. <laughs> Uh, three out of nine people are bad at reducing fractions. I know, uh, you made a fraction meme on the 50th episode, I believe. 
I did, yeah. I did make a I did make a funny fraction joke. Oh my goodness, someone's spamming up the chat. How dare you? <gasps> oh my god. Well, I'm afraid you're only gonna end up getting booped. Really wanna let people know you joke about you know, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I guess. Oh, yep. Palpatine. A uh, new Clone Bye. Wars trailer. It looks like Annie can see Padme pregnant, so either he's an idiot or they're fucking up episode 3 also. Uh, also, comments disabled. Please stop. Um, That might have been a reference to that guy, I guess. I don't know. Is... Yeah, maybe. New Clone Wars trailer. Annie can see Padme pregnant. I guess what they're talking about is that supposed to be revealed to him at the beginning of episode 3, so he shouldn't know that in Clone Wars. I think that's their point. Yeah. Unless he's having but a nightmare all... about it, and then he finds out it's true, that sort of thing, maybe? I don't so, know. in the show Clone Wars, he finds out about her being pregnant? Uh, maybe. I can't entirely tell. Apparently we need to see the Clone Wars trailer, but why would we would probably wouldn't want to see that why until would... we see the other episodes, right? Why would that know. break anything? Well, because in episode 3, she reveals that to him. She says, I'm pregnant, and he's like, oh, that's... Great news, but uh, the idea so he, like he literally sees her pregnant, not like in a dream or in a vit, like how I don't know, but for reference, that would I think they're saying that would necessarily it be would knowledge you shouldn't have. Learning about. Yeah, uh, yeah, I need more context for it, but could sounds tis me. Rags, Carmelita Fox or Crystal? Crystal. There you go. Straight answers there. Not even a question. Uh, Swamp Playing Games, SPG. It's My Dax is the channel. My Dax. I'm unfamiliar with uh, the, the actual channel. I got Swamp Playing Games. I gotcha. Um, I mean, if you're unfamiliar, the question was, do you play with him? So if you're unfamiliar, then... My Dax? Um... I can't even find that channel. Who? They don't go by that name. If they um, have a channel, then they don't go by that name it's that I'm aware of. It's two words for it. It's my space Dax. Yeah, um, yeah. my Dax channel. Uh, yeah, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with that channel. Uh, Rags prefers the living gun over the living battleship. Good to know. Now rate Iowa from... Now rate Iowa from Kantai Collection, I guess? Iowa Kantai Collection. Oh, I guess these, these are like battleship people. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see. Oh, living battleships, right. I get it. I think I, think I prefer Iowa... To Musashi. Um, yeah, she seems a little thicker around the waist, and that's big for me. Um, so I prefer her. I like her hair better, the long blonde hair. I yeah, prefer I like that hair to the weird yeah. owl thing that the other one has going. Um, I definitely prefer Iowa. How is she? I, I, I like her better than Springfield, too. So of the three, I, uh, I gotta say, um, oh, try, I, I gotta... uh, try Mydax spelled M I E D A X. Take a look. Mydax, his last upload was two years ago. Oh. But uh, do you recognize the channel at all? Um, let's see. I don't recognize the voice. Um, my Dax. Beyond the X button. Oh, he did the... Okay, that's the series he did. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this person. He doesn't sound familiar. Oh, there you go. Uh, Mazel tov, everyone. About to cook some little smokies. Very well. Good luck. I don't even know what that means, but I hope they're delicious. 
What happened to the earlier stream? I can't load it. Also, did ER get my question about that anime with the dragon lady and the seven put, foot pole? Oh, that sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure he was asked that. I think I know exactly what anime you're referring to. And uh, the, both the streams were recovered, so it should be in there. Uh, to the I don't, I'm pretty sure he said he hadn't heard of it, but he was he, he was interested. to check it out. Yeah. The, the, it was bad yeah. that he hadn't heard of it. <laughs> um, to the scaly guy, be like those hot dragons and keep it to your fucking self. All right. It's funny when super chatters like, are fighting each other. Yeah. We just take fight, a step back, fight, like, all right. <laughs> like, all right, we just, we just collect the admission fee and you guys can argue. About <laughs> argue about scalies, all right. Argue yeah. about scalies in anime. Uh, Muller is one of the few gamers who has managed to escape the fate of the PUBG bridge, unless someone manages to make him say neighbor in a super chat. I don't know anything what about PUBG, neighbor. I never played it. What a fucking neighbor. Uh, I'll be a neighbor, that's fine. Won't you be. This one just neighbor? says, I'm working on it, winking face. Oh, I'm glad to hear you are. Hmm. Who's Yoko Ono? I'm too dumb. Um, how does one explain Yoko Ono to someone who has no idea? Like, the concept <sighs> Yoko... is just a person who ruins uh, a collective? or like a... Yoko Ono, she married... She's a Japanese song artist person. Uh, like a singer. Uh, she married John Lennon. She's 86. Damn. You should, if you don't know who Yoko Ono is, just immediately search for one of his songs. Because, man. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, what you may call a good argument against art being subjective, I suppose. Yeah. Let's see. Yoko Ono. Uh, she has 35,000 subs on YouTube. Well, good for her. But yeah, uh, I guess it just it just means that um, if someone refers to Yoko Ono in reference to like a group of people being disbanded, it means that there was one person who caused it or whatever. Uh, it's not often that an artist gets like a lot of because I typed in Yoko Ono just to be sure on Google, and the first thing that popped up was Yoko Ono's song "Why" that was uploaded in September of 2018. It is uh, vastly negative in the down votes. Um, so, like, it's terrible. In, uh, in Buffy, there's actually a reference to Yoko Ono, and uh, the character says that the reality of the situation wasn't that Yoko Ono broke them up, it's that they broke each other up and that they blamed her. Um, which is interesting. It was the old phrase, it's... a way to break up the band, Yoko. Yeah, it's yeah. still the point considered is, after the After listening factor. to this person's music, I have no problem disburnishing their good name. Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> good name. Um, may the Emperor bless thee in this new year, and may the heretics cower before you. Also, high rags. Hello! What is your this favorite is... race from 40k and why? Oh, I don't know. Humans, because I'm a human supremacist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, all of her songs are red or yellow. Uh, sounds nice. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go to videos, uploads. Like all of her songs are like sixty four percent. That's high. Thirty four, fifty seven. Jeez, these are terrible. This is fucking. This is so terrible. You're saying it's not very good. They're awful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah, just watch the Clone Wars trailer. There seems to be a little bit of retconning, but I'd have to watch Revenge of the Sith again to be 100% sure. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Um, is it, Does any of Clone Wars take place after Episode 3, or like during Episode 3, I guess I should say? Because they might be able to get away with it that way. Um, assuming this is the end of Clone Wars, like this will be the last installment. Because I know that they're a little bit tismy with time as it is, so perhaps that is how it works. I wouldn't know for sure. Uh, hey, Mola, can you read my last super chat rags? My last super chat rags from episode sixty nine. Um, yeah, paste it for me if you got it, and we'll take, a, we'll take a little read. You were there for all of sixty nine, though, weren't you? Yeah, I'd never miss a good sixty nine. Have a look if I can. 
Uh, okay, well, this is the only one that I got from that account from this episode. It says, um, does Hollywood cast black actresses in ginger roles because ginger is an anagram for the N-word? I could have sworn you, you answered that, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I, I don't think I did. Though, well, uh, then, yeah, ginger is an anagram for a certain word. Ninja? Ninja. Make sure it's not we're, just let you know. We said ninja, not ninja. Just so everyone's <laughs> clear. So don't don't worry about it. So, uh, I'm just gonna read these. Wow. I guess. Okay. So, uh, hi rags. Hello. Bye rags. Goodbye. Why rags? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, konnichiwa ragisama. Ah, oh, konnichiwa. Thoughts? Thoughts on Sons of Anarchy if you've seen it. If not, then you should uh, watch it. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Um, no, I have not seen I it. I have not seen it. That is something I should see. A lot of people have said, too. Um, yeah. I accidentally yeah, crushed my homie's future kids. Oof. Oh, you hit, you hit the sack, didn't you? You bashed it. You, you spooshed it. That's terrible. You're, you're one of them there, sack bashers. Damn it. Uh, Halo 5 is actually a fun game for online play and one of my favorite competitive shooters of the decade. Uh, fair enough. Alright. Team Fortress 1 and 2, Killzone 3, Apex, Bioshock 2, and Doom also. Did you ever play the, did you play the Bioshock 2 multiplayer? No, I didn't. That was interesting, to say the least. Was it alright? Um, I remember it being alright, but the problem is that this is back when I had, like, Tism Brain. I can't remember if, like... I just thought it was fun and it was actually horrible. It could have been like poorly balanced and I may not have noticed. Um, yeah, I mean, there are still people who think that Modern Warfare 2 was anything other than garbage, so who knows? Oh who man, knows? that's going to set chat off. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, that's sure. All right. Let him. Let that him. would set Wolf off. I'm pretty sure he thinks it's uh, Modern Warfare 2 is great. I can't remember though. Mm. Or maybe so, even maybe even Fringy. Just bring it up in front of him, see if you, see if you get some fumes. Yeah, we can yeah, we'll do it. Human supremacist is Rags a species traitor? <gasps> you said Warhammer 40k. Well, I, so I guess there are dogs, and but yeah, I, I was assuming you meant like factions as races. Hmm. They always say hi Rags, but never how Rags. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well. Luckily, I'm pretty stalwart emotionally, so I'll make it. I'll make it. Hi Rags. Have you? Hello. Played Escape from Tarkov. What are your thoughts? I've played it a little bit. Uh, I've got some friends who play it. It's um, it's okay. Definitely not for everybody, but I got to play it more until I really give it a solid opinion. But I do plan on playing it more as time goes on. Uh, are you guys familiar with Donut Operator? I've seen them on Twitter. I am, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I haven't watched any. Do they do videos? I'm assuming so. Yeah, he's a YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, I am unfamiliar, but Rags is familiar. Yeah, I know of him. Uh, Gun Egg, Gun Egger, uh, Banjo Lips, Moon Cricket. I believe hmm. they wanted me to say those words for a very specific reason, but I am too naive to know what it may have been. Uh, Dishonored. Well, I guess one of these days we'll find out. The Dishonored end credit song was amazing. All right. Dishonored I've... one. I've not played it. Uh, well, I've certainly not completed it. Um, but I'm um, assuming it's end credits as a good song. Hmm. I can't remember. There was, I want to say, uh, sometimes end credit songs are shit. Like, um, <laughs> like, the, like the Hellblade ending credit song was garbage, but I guess a lot of people liked it, which is weird. You remember the, uh, uh, the Soma end credit song? It's such a, like, just melancholy, basically. Yeah, it's hard to uh, hard to have any other feeling of that. Yeah, point. it's a very calm piano, just being like that's that just happened. <laughs> yeah. like, yep. Um, there are some great end credit songs. I remember, uh, the end of Mass Effect. Uh, the fonts they did M4 Part One was the ending credits for Mass Effect, and that stuff's great. Uh, there's I'm sure there's others, but that's always one that comes to mind. Uh, hey Rags, would you run D and D for every role a crit or a different system? Uh, FFG Star Wars is really interesting and would be fitting given the podcast. 
Um, I'm not familiar with every role a crit. Let me. Is it like a program for it or? Every role a crit. Oh, would that maybe that are they saying that would be the name? Yeah, it would is... be the name of it. Yeah, every role a crit. E. Ra Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> um, we every role a Iraq. Yeah, we'd have to think about it. Um. Let's see. Um. What it is it? Sorry, can you say that again? Because I was oh. I got so focused. And... I said, would you run D and D for every role of crit or a different system? Um, <clears throat> um, I'd probably do Pathfinder. Uh, it would either be D and D or Pathfinder. I'm more familiar with Pathfinder. Um, but I would probably incorporate some aspects of D and D Fifth Edition. Um, and some other homebrew stuff. I'd, I'd make some changes to the rules, essentially. Um, uh, but yeah, it'd probably be Pathfinder, because that's what I'm most familiar with. Vampire the Masquerade has some pretty good aspects to it, too. I really like their skill system, how you roll skills and attributes together, depending on what you are actually doing. I like that system. I would be curious in seeing if I could come up with some kind of a uh, a rule set that would take the good aspects of Vampire the Masquerade's skill rolling and incorporate that into the skills for Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have to give it some thought. I haven't yet, but I'm sure there's a way to do it, and I'd be interested in doing that. But yeah, probably Pathfinder. Watch Kabuki Last Jedi. It has better plot. I'm sure it does. I can it believe it. <laughs> I can, uh, Portal... I can believe it. Portal 2 turret ending credit song was amazing. If you're referring to both Portal 1 and 2's ending credit song are they both awesome. Had great ending credit songs. Um, but this, I, it, says, it does say turret ending credits. Maybe they're referring to the uh, the co-op campaign's ending song. I don't know if that's different. I can't remember. Remember when Portal came out and everybody was saying, oh, the cake's alive, the cake's alive, the cake's alive, and everyone was going, oh, the ending credit song's still alive, ah, da, 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 da. and it's like, fuck, shut up. Yeah. We get it. You played the game. We Get it? Shut up. Um, I it's don't. Very annoying. I don't like Shazam comics, but Steamboat is my ni. Just says ni. Fine, but uh, yes, Steamboat, Steamboat is, is a nih. hero. I think they should. They should is, he's not ironically a hero though. Get him his own movie. I want this. I want a, the Steamboat. Why they could have <laughs> cast Steamboat as Black Panther? I would. Uh, Steamboat add Black Panther working together in their own Avengers universe. I. I don't know. I just think that's. That is the setup for greatness. <laughs> um, the, the the urban cinematic universe. Oh wow, Jay's calling you out. Oh. He says you say thought instead of thought. Thought? Yeah. Yeah, I always say thought. So everyone says thought. Well, I guess um, is that an American way to pronounce the thing? Because obviously, I say thought. I say we. I well, I say thought. Everyone here says thought. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Yeah. Yeah, he's just trying to fuck with you. I think you should uh, you should slap him in the face, kick him. Just do it. Nah, I think he's where he belongs. Ugh. Kicked, pre-kicked. Uh, just bought. I was right with the universe. Oh, that that's another one. So I say bought. You'd say bought. I bought it. Yeah, I say bought. B a u g h t. Basically, bought. And I am very bought British and, and say bought. Just bought Horizon Zero Dawn. Enjoying it quite a bit so far. Found it for 16 bucks used, and I recommend it thoroughly. No PS4? Then yo-ho-ho, ho, matey. Um, it's, um, it's coming I to PC, isn't it? It, it? Yeah, I think it's coming to PC. Yeah, so we don't have to wait too long for it. Damn. Uh, would you guys ever join Floatplane in the future? Maybe. What is it? It's like a Patreon kind of thing. Oh, that's the thing that uh, Linus is doing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know enough about it, but I mean, because I, I watched In his video. Didn't he say, like, it's it. not actually an alternative to YouTube? It's just supposed to be a way to help creators, I think? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I haven't heard anything bad yet, so we shall see. Uh, just realized you play with Chase Face, who sounds like my Dax to me. Sorry about the confusion. Tell Shad he's my Cherezen or my Ewok. My Ewok, it is. Uh, oh, but yeah. yeah, when I when I listened to Midex's uh, video, I for there was a moment where I was like, "Oh, is this what Chase's old channel or something?" Mm. But um, yeah, I play with Chase Face. He's a coolio dude. He comes on EFAP every once in a while. 
He is my E word. <laughs> Thanks to user insult to the human insult to the human race for clearing up EFAP slang. I guess I am an old man, massive spewing isms. Uh, oh. Great community. Oh, and hi, Rags. Hello. You'll fit right in. Whoever you are, mm -hmm. you'll fit right in. Rags, what are your thoughts on Pathfinder 2E? So I haven't played Pathfinder 2E yet, and I know very little about it. I only watched like one video talking about it. In fact, it was only like a week ago when I learned there was a second edition for Pathfinder. Uh, there are some aspects that I've heard about it that I really like, like the three action system for combat and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's really kind of nifty. I think that's really kind of cool. Um, but I need to I need to read more about it. I, I would like to get more you know, information on it. And I'll probably after this. Um, well, let's see what time is it? It is. Oh yeah, how long have we got before um, we got to go? Probably an hour. I, I probably thirty minutes. Can we wrap up in thirty so I can do some stuff? So I can have some time to do some things before the stream starts because I've been yeah, like, uh, uh, literally just as long as you can you can afford. Just let me know. Yeah, let's uh, let's call it, let's give it another thirty minutes. Good but enough. I'm yeah, I'm gonna re I'm gonna read some more and listen to some more people talk about uh, Pathfinder Two E because I might really like it. Mm. Um, I just don't know anything about it. I didn't even know it existed, but apparently it's like six months old or something like that. Um, I'm going to be trying it out soon, and I found it similar to DOS2. What's DOS2? Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I can see why, because... Um, yeah, you get certain... Because in Divinity Original Sin, I don't know if you played it, but for those of you who don't know, it's a turn-based system, and when a character begins their turn, they begin with a certain amount of action points, you know, APs. And these can be modified if you have haste or if you've slowed somebody or things like that. And different actions cost different action points. So moving certain distances costs action points. Casting a certain amount of spells costs AP and attacking and stuff like that. So uh, you, you pretty much use your action economy, action point economy every turn to determine what you could do. Um, and in... Um, Pathfinder 2E, you can perform three actions, which can be a combination of moving, attacking, spells have like a one, two, or three action cost, depending on their power, I guess. Um, it's a lot more, I guess, narrative-based, roleplay-based, instead of strictly speaking, this is an action, this is an action, that sort of thing. But um, I want to read up on it. But yeah, I like more, I, I like the idea of a more freeform combat like that. Um... Off topic, but have you seen Running Wild with Bear Grylls? He drags Brie Larson through an island jungle, and it's hilarious. Oh uh, my god, that, that sounds poor like it would be hilarious. Being stuck in a jungle with Brie Larson. I'm sure he survived. He's pretty good at this stuff. Yeah, I mean the man could drink his own piss, but hanging out with Brie <laughs> Larson, jeez. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't seen that. Uh, it does sound like it'd be funny. Uh, Path of Exile has an amazing soundtrack at parts. I have not played it, so I would not know. Uh, she doesn't die. They pull out the spear from her butt. I guess that's in reference to that, that anime. Um, yeah, Ari Frueta Shokyugyo Desekai Sakyu is the name of the anime, and she's 200% into it. Okay. All right. Well, Kisantite. Uh, it's from commonplace to world strongest. See, some of these are so out of context that it's, just, it's impossible to decode. <laughs> it's from commonplace to world strongest. Yep. All right. Uh, don't fucking oust me, rags. No one must know that I'm the dragon butt slayer. Shut up, you massive. Fuck you. Also, hi, wags. Keep up the great work, Hello. you all. I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Can Diabito sugar bend the sugars in our bodies? Oh, yeah, that was one of like, the first established oh, powers. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, he, he does it like... He's deadly. Remember when Magneto does it to the iron in the blood of in X Men Two? He in does the, the same cop, thing. Yeah, horrifying. Yeah, the more the more fat and unhealthy you are, the more power he has over you. Uh, Ari Frueta is a harem anime. The fetish stuff is overt, but mostly meant as sexual jokes. So at least that's what the creator and fans would claim. Hmm. Mm, seeing the secret secret shit there. I'm sure they are. Subversive Clifford reboot. She is now a small blue cat. <laughs> oh. oh, and Blue from Blue's Clues is a big red cat. 
I just, I mean, I guess they're trying to go as, like, Clifford will be betrayed in the reboot. Is Disney Clifford. own Clifford? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let me check. Um, It'll be ruined. Who owns Clifford, the big red dog? Um, oh, uh, Emily Elizabeth. No, I mean, like, the company, not the fucking child. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a corporation, I'm sure of it. I don't know. People also search for Samantha Manson from uh oh uh Danny Phantom. Okay. It's interesting. Along with the dragon masochist, you've got a vampire lolly and an opi big old tiggle biddies rabbit girl. Uh rabbit girl. I'm not giving Funimation money, so I've only read the manga. Uh, if I know my tropes, we are just missing two more. Oh, and hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, Rags, would you keep Babu Chipman as your pet? Babu Chipman? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, would, I wouldn't want to be caged with him. Uh, could you watch The Backstroke of the West on EFAP? We could do that for free. EFAP movies, potentially. It would take a lot of editing, I think, to uh, make sure it's copyright-free, but possible. Uh, but again, out of context, 3,000 people watching now. I'm one of the people who didn't have anywhere else to go tonight and appreciate the stream to keep me company. Cheers. Thank you, thank you. That would be... Uh, yeah, glad you could make it. New Year's, that was. Uh, who will play Diabito in the live-action movie? Also high regs. I don't know. Some fat slob. Uh, who have we got? Who are options? We just put out a casting call. Uh, we probably do like, it. Who wants to play Hitler? We, we, we'd have to do it like over the internet as well, because the idea of the, if they can show up to a casting call, that probably means they're unsuitable. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I I would want to like a like a an a actor who's really into their role. You know. They do it on Skype. A uh, sad fact: yeah. the biggest Lego set ever made is the Millennium Falcon from TLJ, complete with Porgs. Seriously, fuck Porgs. Is that true? Uh, You'd think the, the Death Star models would have been bigger, but yeah, all right. Must have been a really uh, big one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I guess. Uh, the Force Awakens critique part three when? My, yeah, so Rags has promised it would be August 2020. Um, I would say it is between now and August 2020. The thing is, the second you tell me to give a date, I am beholden to the date, so I can't. I, I gotta be careful, but I am working on it, so... And you might be like, you've been working on it for like a year. I'd be like, okay, but I'm still working on it. It's still coming, and it eventually will. And then what will you say when it's finally released? But yeah, it's coming. More videos are on the way, for sure. Um, I think they just don't want you to ever say anything at this point. Uh, do, do, do. Happy New Year, long man from Florida. Why, thank you. Florida man greets long man. Florida man. Dun, dun. Adam and Eve lacked belly buttons because the artist that painted them didn't realize that the divine creation wouldn't give belly buttons. Not like medical knowledge that is well known among the artisan class at the time. Because the artist painted them didn't hmm. realize the divine creation would Well, I mean, I thought they were painted... Are they painted with belly buttons? I'm not sure now. I'm, <laughs> I'd have to check. I mean, were they always painted that way? Because, yeah, I guess, if you were never in a womb, then you wouldn't have a belly button. Uh, I guess it's just not a detail. I guess they just weren't being objective. Yeah, those those poor bastards. Uh, TROS was listed with PG-13 rating in Sweden, I think. Oh, was this in reference to the whole, like... I believe that they said the ratings were made the way they were because of the vaporizing face. And to be fair... It's quite, like, it is a thing. You see, like, the flash and the yeah, skull. Yeah, like, if you look at it, it's kind of, like, oh. Yeah, like, oof. I, I, That's I kind of out of the blue. I wonder, like, in slow-mo on 4K, what that would look like. It's going to be, like, hideous, probably. Um, best liquor, objectively? Liquor? So, so my favorite is Bailey's, I think. Um, oh, okay. I was about to clarify, like... Wait, assuming we're talking about alcohol who, in general. Yeah, and not people who lick. <laughs> or lick I just wanted to... Um, because it would be me. But, best liquor? I don't know. I'm not a liquor guy. This is not really a field that I 
spend a lot of time in, honestly. I don't, I, I just generally don't really drink liquor. I think it's kind of nasty. Well, alcoholisms? No, liquor. Wait, what's the difference? Educate me. I always oh, assume that I, people I, refer I guess it's to different liquors. over there, but over here, liquor generally refers to like stuff like vodka and like like hard drinks. Like spirits? And not beer. Yeah, like spirits, but not like beer and wine. Like like beer and wine, a lot of people don't say liquor for those. It's, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, I remember you saying this before. Like, I don't understand. Like, you, have you tried Bailey's? Like, the whole point of some of those spirits or like higher end alcohols is that they taste really nice while also getting you drunk. Um, I haven't had Bailey's, but yeah, over here it's a, it, it's essentially everything from, uh, like Jack Daniels to Frangelica to Saint Germain and Kettle mm -hmm. One and. Grey Goose, all that stuff. Uh, 1800 and you, absolute. You see that in chat? Amateur sex videos, click here. <laughs> what? I did, but nothing happens. Uh, also, Jay, I know you suck hello, at like- Hello, my proud- Hello, my fellow proud Ewok sapiens. Um, I know you suck at everything, Jay, but like, you've got a spanner, which means you can actually knock that guy out. Actually, they haven't- They- yeah, they're span- yeah. I mean, that's the thing is that they're actually like asking. They're actually saying things. It. Oh all shit! Different. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Sorry, I I thought yeah, someone, like, they're actually saying things. Okay. Yeah, they're actually <laughs> saying things. Why would you call you? That's just like yeah, a spam account to me. Six, six amateur sex videos. Click here. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. This but like, as things. long as you as long as you don't actually spam. Yeah. I mean, sure. Someone's like, they did cut cords in ancient times. Like, yeah, sure. But if you weren't in a womb, if you were created mm. by God or from a rib or whatever the story is, then you wouldn't have a belly button because you were never inside of a lady. Um, so, yeah. Fuck Arifretta. It's a shitty Iseka. Fucking, what do I do with this weeb talk, Rex? I, say that one more time. Fuck Arifuera. <laughs> Fuck Arifretta, it's a shitty Iseka, or Iseka, Isekai, Isekai. Um, okay. it's, they're, com they're fucking comparing waifus, I think. The fans defend... Fuck Arifretta? Arifretta, because the author knew he was writing self-insert maspiratory trash. Alright. Arif, can you spell that? I will send it to you. There's a lot of vowels. Um... Oodoo. Sad fact, the biggest Lego set- oh wait, I read that. The Force Awakens Critique Part 3- wait, how did I- I must have missed one and then thought I'd missed a whole bunch. Uh, keeping with the theme of Diabeto, my diabetic friend just got released from the hospital after a diabetic coma. You can't have him, movie blob, you can't take him away from me yet. Yeah, just- just keep on fighting. Assuming that's true, that's, uh, great, but... Wow, look at that fucking edgelord protagonist, man, with the robot arm and the black suit and the eye patch. Wow, that's that's so it's such. Fun. Oh my God, he's got two magic revolvers. Wow, what a fucking <laughs> weeb anime OC. Oh, he's got a minigun in this one. Wow, that's really uh, that's really something that I don't care to look at in any way at all ever. That looks uh, fucking stupid. People think that shit's cool. It's not. It's dumb. When's the next EFAP? Saturday, seven p.m. GMT with. Confirmed right now is Metal Commander and Literature Devil, and we may have another guest as well to be confirmed. Um, it's gonna be fun. Be there TBC. or be square. Be there or be square. You could be both if you want, I guess. Uh, did you guys know that Spider Man was red and black initially, but the, if but the use of blue for shading caused him to be colored blue. Wait, I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool. I had no idea, and I'm. I mean, red and black would have been fine. It kind of seems dark for well, him. Well, some though, of his uh, like a black widow kind of look. Some of the alterations in his suit, he's red and like he's red and black in the MCU vision, right? He's got a lot of black in the suit, I think. I'd have to check it again. I'm pretty sure he does. MCU Spooderman. Yeah, he's got well, it's blue, red, and black. And uh, at the end of um, Far From Home, I'm pretty sure it's. 
quite, yeah, it's quite, a, if anything, it's black, if not dark blue, I guess. I'm just, I'll just boost you it. That's, that's our old Spooderman by the end of that movie. And navy. Well, I don't know, it's kind of black. Yeah, it looks like, it looks black to me. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think that the colors work. Also, I don't really care for that. The suit? I don't like the, I don't, yeah, I don't like this suit. I don't like the arms being so black. I don't like the forearms. I, I, I don't really care for that one. Mm -hmm. I don't even like Civil War, but no way in hell is it worse than Iron Man 3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man, for it's fucking, fucking weird as shit. Attention all EFAP fan artist. Mauler doesn't think your drawings of him as an anime waifu are hot because they're cartoons, sad face. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So. I am so sorry. Oh my god, Mahler. It's true that the biggest Lego set ever is a Millennium, bleh, Millennium Falcon, but it's got both OT and ST characters. I know because I own it and put all the ST characters in their proper place. My garbage can. Oof. Oh, man. <laughs> Down they go. Sacrificed. Um, okay. uh, did the fanfic saga end even? Palp is dead, but the First Order is its own thing and it's still out there, isn't it? It's not even, like, and it's not even stuck on a planet. They just tell us that it's over, pretty much. Yeah, it's done. They just, yeah, they just won. Just they like, yep. knocked him out. It? It's fine. They're done. Finished. We're wrapped up. And, yeah. Uh, if you do porn reviews, you have to get Cinema Snob to help you run down some of them, like E.T., the porno, and Super Hornio e. Brothers. Porno? Super Hornio Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Super Hornio Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> also, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, have you seen Quinton start using eugenics talk with Yoda's race being more in tune with the Force? Uh, we did. We covered that, actually. Uh, it was interesting. He says a lot of interesting things in that. It really he pisses does. me off, because when you reduce it to that, you tear apart any piece of media that shows one race being better at something, like Elder Scrolls and Mass Effect. I mean, it would only make sense that, say, for example, just a race that has more muscle mass than humans or whatever would be better at doing things that require more muscle mass, you know? Yeah, like, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense that a giant would be stronger than a hobbit. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing I like about uh, Lord of the Rings is they try they try to show that there are pros and cons to each of the um, the races. Uh, Hobbits being that they're like almost the most uh, resilient to corruption. They're the most like happy go lucky, want to live their lives sort of people. While man may be the most corruptible, I think, but it's also ones that show like the greatest courage. Obviously the there's a lot of characters that show lots of courage. I don't want to like take that away from anybody. Yeah, generally, in generally in all kinds of fiction, people are like the well-rounded jack of all trades race, and other races are the more specialized races. Mm -hmm. Dragons are better than griffins. What do you think, Rex? Hmm. I don't know. Like, better for fucking? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's the first question that they were <laughs> going to go with. Because uh, I, I would... I, would, I, I, mm, depend, so when, I guess it depends on what they mean. Like, it, better, better if it, if for it, what? If we're but talking if cool fucking, factor, would... right? If we're talking cool factor, the thing with dragons is that they're automatically, like, highest tier cool. It's just hard to figure out exactly... If they're above or below, a lot of dragons are lame. It's almost like dragons are. Like, well, we're obviously cliched. talking about the best of the best. If we're going to talk about a, a whole group of things, yeah, I guess dragons are are stereotypically more cool. But I'd rather fuck a griffin. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, if we're talking about what the about fuckability you? factor, I uh, I just I I think dragons just they're just cooler than griffins. I'm sorry, like the cool factor just annihilates it for me. Yeah. And I'm thinking about. Like, as much as Game of Thrones sucks, Drogon from, from Game of Thrones, that would be a pretty cool dragon to have. Or any of the, any of the yeah, really... those dragons are cool. I don't like the slithery, serpenty ones. Like, I don't really care for, like, the eastern dragons that are really long and, like, I like the more western. Yeah, I, I prefer western dragons scaly. to eastern, for sure. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, dragons come in a very wide variety of colors and shapes and sizes. Mm-hmm. Like, there is no way in hell anyone would look at, like, Sean Connery, right, in Dragonheart and be like, oh, that's lame. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty cool. Also, having a having a dragon that can speak to you with Sean Connery's voice, damn. Yeesh. Cool. 
Um, you, would I hate everything ever do EFAB since y'all fixed things up? Uh, he's not too okay with live performances. Um, he doesn't like doing live stuff, or, or at least, uh, I think what he said to me was, um, he doesn't like doing live stuff typically, but if he was to do it, he would rather do it with, like, very close friends, because, um, I don't know, he, he feels, like, safer and stuff. He's just, he's really not cool with confrontation, so... That's yes, fine. Could, he's yeah. not He's not the first person to say that to us as well. I think Closer Look said he wouldn't want to do a live EFAP because of confrontation. Um, Internet Historian said he didn't want to do a live EFAP for, for risk of uh, saying something that he would regret or something like that. Like, a lot of people are that way, and it's fine. But um, it, it just means that we might be able to do something pre-recorded, like an EFAP movies, or maybe a discussion, who knows. But perhaps down the line, who knows? Uh, anime yeah. recommendation, Rising of the Shield Hero. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that before. Doesn't sound like a great name, Rising honestly. Of Shield, Rising yeah. of the Shield Hero. It's kind of like... Yeah, it's not a bad name. I don't know. Seems a little generic to me. Rising of the Shield Hero. Like, is that anywhere near as good as, um, I don't know, just Massive as the name of an anime? Massive? Like, imagine just the massive. possibilities. It's about, a, it's about a giant who has to protect the, like, like a giant who befriends a small girl and he has to take her back home and protect her or something. I don't know. Um, Crisis of Infinite Girth, Diabito and the Book of Density. <laughs> <laughs> Diabito and the Book of Density. <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> Why did you call Lewis. Lewis? I can't believe that they said Lewis. Like he's a Left for Dead character. <laughs> That's who he was referring to. That he was he like saw Lois Lewis. and he was like, oh, oh, it's you. Uh, You're not Lewis. Lewis. If the cosmic here. chicken is God, Goliath Satan, and the Don Jesus, could Tonald be the universe itself? Bagidius Baggins, one point two billion BC. I don't know. Those are some pretty deep questions, my these, dude. Yeah, these are all still being discussed. You know, by the scholars, it's really hard to know definitive answers. Mm. Um, Mola, did you watch the big fat quiz of 2019 where they shat on Game of Thrones? I actually did. It was really funny. Um, they ask a question to the panel, something like, uh, like this is totally paraphrasing. This is just what I remember. It's something like, uh, what happened on, um, you know, the set of Game of Thrones? What blunder happened on the set of Game of Thrones in reference to the the coffee cup? If you remember, and I think one of them just said the writing. <laughs> <laughs> on what? <laughs> on Game of Thrones. Yeah, but like, oh, when, sorry, when was on the uh, big fat quiz of the year, it's uh, like a British panel. Show. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that show. Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh my god, the writing. <laughs> um, happy New Year from GMT negative five, U.S. coast. All my e words. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Crisis on Infinite Eric Butts. Yes, that's. Uh, I wonder Crisis if he liked on it. Infinite Butts. <laughs> what a what an inventive name. Uh, happy 2020 from West Virginia, Yeehaw Brothers. Right. Yeehaw! Yeah, I was gonna say, give me a Yeehaw back. Oh. Happy New yeehaw. Year, Massives from Maine. Thanks for a decade of memes and reviews. Here's to another decade's worth. Kick the J, Hoy Wag, and Scully Wheel. Hoy! Scully so Wheel, did yeah. you know that Maine is the closest state to Africa? I did not know that. Yeah, most people don't because it's fucking really specific and mm. worthless. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, happy New Year's from Georgia, you massives. Have some shekels. Why, thank you. Uh, happy New Year's from West Virginia. Oh, it looks like we hit the New Year's at that point for all of these 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 Americas places. Disgusting. Uh, you might like the hero is overly cautious. It's a pretty good satire of anime tropes while still having plenty of good characters. Uh, fair enough. Rags, we apparently got a lot of anime to watch. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we'll get right on that. Yes, we don't have a whole other bunch of things to watch that are uh, a normal entertainment, you know, non non weird and, and wrong entertainment, all right, guys? Jeez. Uh, ER, is it legal for Cora to run around assaulting men's lips without consent? I guess I'll save that question. I've got Whenever a, lot a woman of talks, questions. I feel like they're assaulting my ears without my. Yes. Uh, 
Happy New Year's EFAP, also high regs. Hi. Also, Happy New Year's from Maine. Here's to another year of looking at women, dragon booty, rags, doggo butt, and EFAP in so hard that I lose vision for eight hours because I pass out sometimes. Well, yeah, boy. that's like the best result, I'd say. By the way, Rags, there is a Dragon Ball character created named Rags. I didn't know that. Apparently you should get into Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball? Character called Rags. You gotta get in on that. Uh, Dragon Ball Rags. I looked it up and I don't see anybody. Oh, there is. Yeah, a... A woman, of course. <laughs> um, Rags, Ragusu is a member of the core area warriors and one of the main antagonists of the universal conflict saga, a woman who's an antagonist. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's, that's disgusting. If you want my honest opinion, disgusting. Um, shield hero ends with now getting God powers, a harem and splitting his soul across the multiverse, living infinite lives. It's another shitty isekai. All right. Uh, happy new years. Isakai. Happy New Year's, all my Ewoks. Also, hi, Anna and Rags. Huh? Said hi, Rags. Oh, hello! Listen, Bank, if I want to blow all my money on Super Chats and Porn, you better let me, or I'm gonna start using PayPal. So I did. Hi, Wags. Hi! Happy New Year, crew. Please leave Patrick alone. He's already dead. Oh. We haven't actually covered Patrick in a while. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, we should check in on him, see how he's doing. Yeah, I'm sure he's doing just wonderful. Just wonderful. Uh, happy New Year, my fellows. Oh, no fellow Ewoks. All right, well. Uh, well, this was before okay. then, right? No, no, someone just said uh, Ewoks in, in this election, so I think it was after. Oh. Wait, if that's after Ewoks and someone... Okay, I don't know. Timeline's getting confusing now. I can't even remember. Uh... Most people don't know what a Llanperagul Gwyngil Gorgor Hwaid Drob Wildis Gorgor is. Bwilbo Baggins. <laughs> Come on, Bilbo long man, you can do it. Bilbo. Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Uh, Muller & Co. Your content and these streams have given me tons of inspiration for my own writing. Shame that I have to catch up on it about 40... Catch up about 40 hours of content. Love y'all. Hopefully that's a good thing, you know? Hopefully it's like a, hey, I got this backlog. Woohoo. Oh, someone in EFAP chat made me, made me a bob slime. A bob? Oh, like a piece of art? Yeah. Oh, like an EFAP, a meme, an EFAP meme. Do you want to uh, link it? I can... Yeah, let me... Uh... I said he was a slime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looks like we're winning, maybe. <laughs> I just I hope anyway. Wait, Rags, why are you touching it? Be careful. I want to touch the slime. I need to know how it feels. I have a strange, <laughs> morbid fascination with knowing how this slime feels. Like look at I look at that and I don't know if it's cold or warm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like jelly or if it's like a mushed up sandwich in a plastic bag. I have no idea what its consistency might be. Curiosity killed the cat, Rags. Lucky you're a dog, eh? But not me. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna turn off my heater just a second. Give me a second, boy. No problem. Finished Shad's book earlier. Very much enjoyed it. When it ended, yours went live. Winning. Not the dollar, of course, but split half of this high with Rags. I shall, once he returns. Uh, the other day I came across this Ewok in an alley, and he took my phone and stole my money. Typical Ewok behavior. Despite only being 13% of the population, Ewok commits 50% uh, of all violent crimes. Across the galaxy. Intense, that is. The Ewoks must be stopped. Uh, Muller, anyway, it get upload notifications from third-party sites? I'm not getting them from you on YouTube. I mean, if the bell isn't working either, that's just... YouTube being weird. Um, I was waiting to see what Shoe on Head's video on um the whole what Warren said to Sadness thing was going to be. She said on Twitter she was doing a video for it, and um, I checked, and I was like, yeah, she hasn't done it. And then a day later, I saw her on Twitter saying that um, 
you know, for people who uh, don't seem to get my video in their feed, here it is. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's in the feed. Like, there's no need to complain. Then I checked my own YouTube feed and I'm subscribed to it and it wasn't there. And I was like, huh. YouTube, Thanks, YouTube. Um, YouTube, I'm pretty sure they've admitted that they do it. Uh, and they've said it's just like an experiment in terms of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Yeah, they're like, what... oh, we here at YouTube, we don't want to assume that just because you subscribe to somebody, that doesn't mean you want to be notified whenever they make a video. Mm hmm. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> thanks, YouTube. But yeah, if, if the bell's not working, I would just say check back every once in a while and you'll you'll find anything I put out. Um, also, we here at YouTube just assume that when you subscribe to someone, that doesn't really mean you want to stay subscribed to no, them. No, why in the world? No, <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, also, there was a high rags as well. Hello! I'm working on my own sequel trilogy videos, codenamed Operation Warm Vaseline, and I needed TROS to be able to make them. When TROS had Palp return, I genuinely considered scrapping it. Oh. Wait, say what? I don't know. Are you saying, like, you were making your own sequel videos based on, like, clips from the sequel trilogy? In which case, having Palpatine back probably fucked with the narrative that person was making. Um, oh, I, I know. know. Imagine. Yeah. Uh, hope you all had a massive Christmas slash holidays. Be looking forward to all the tisms that'll be covered in 2020. Happy New Year, everyone. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! I'm making mac and cheese and no one can stop me. Haha, <laughs> 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 hello, hello, how do you do, my friends? You've nailed it. Uh, Happy <laughs> New Year, all. ER. I started reading the... Oh, wait, I shall save this for him, I guess. Uh, Happy New Year. Thanks, Muller and Efab, for all the great content. Never knew I needed the long content in my life, but I'm happy YouTube recommended you. Oh. I wonder what it's like seeing hey. Efab get recommended, and then you click it, and you're like, wait, 12 hours? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, who would watch this? And then you're like, oh, a lot of people. Why? What's wrong with you people? Uh, Happy New Year. Thanks, Muller and Efab, for all the great content. Never knew I needed the long... Oh, wait, I read that already. Sorry. Uchi is objectively the best Star Wars character. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good character. Definitely a favorite. Pretty good. Got another ER Also, question. Call her, somebody sent me this that they did. Oh, I will... Put on screen un momento. It ain't nifty. Got um at versions of Wolf and Rags, I see. Jay with his little rhino and Fringy. Yeah, that's awesome. Every frame of pause. I wonder how Fringy likes his uh that look. Fringy's got a lot of different variations now to choose from. That plate yeah. doctor got owned. What's funny is that, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but Jay's dress, he, he reminds me of the Virgin from the Virgin <laughs> and Chad memes. Yeah. <laughs> you need, if his head was hanging a bit lower, it would nail it. Oh, it'd be fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen High Top's video defending Spider Man 3? I'm pretty sure I checked it out. Now I I can't remember if um what I thought of it anymore. Uh yeah, honestly, I I'm pretty sure I watched it, but now I can't remember what I thought. Unfortunately, um, hi rags, hello, hello long man, hello. I used to support you on Patreon, but switched to join on YouTube. But I know you also have a subscribe star, and I just wanted to ask, where's the best place to support you? Uh, just want as much to go to you as possible. Stay massive. Um. Uh. So as far as I, I know, Patreon and Scribe, subscribe star, like pretty much everything you send for the most part gets sent. They take. Off. Do they take ten or twenty percent Patreon? I can't remember. I don't think they take that much. Um, it's way better than YouTube. Yeah, YouTube take forty percent or thirty-five percent. I think YouTube are a yeah. bit, bit, bit thingy about it. But all right. Uh, though this person sent them out the, this donation through Streamlabs, which is still being caught up with as well as the Super Chats. Um, Streamlabs is the best one, I believe, in terms of one-to-one, -one, like, money you send, money that's received. So, 
a Sleudus, the person who asked that, Streamlabs is probably the best one to do it through. Um, but if you wanted something that was automatic monthly, it probably would be Patreon or Subscribestar because they're better uh, ratios than YouTube. But uh, all the support is very much appreciated. Punjab from Annie is the savior of boneless orphans while the Don nurtures them. They both constantly protect the orphans from Diabito, who wants to extract their leftover bone density so he can support his weight. Oh. Punjab is a supporting character in the 1982 film Annie, and its 1995 sequel Annie, A Royal Adventure. Um, let's see. There's an Annie wiki, because of course there fucking is. Apparently I've missed a question. Uh, let's see. Give me a sec, I'm scrolling. Is Annie... Oh, I was confusing Annie with um, Pippi Longstocking for some reason. That's a fucking blast from the past. I'm, 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 I'm looking, not finding it. The user John Whittle. Yeah, I'm getting no result in uh, super chats. I'm afraid to. So. Shithead. Said, "Hey, Moller, I literally just spent twenty five dollars trying to show you this question so you can answer it, and you literally didn't see it either time. It's not in uh, in the listings. Are you sure it went through? Because like sometimes YouTube can be a bit of a dick about it, depending on what words he used. Um, but I can't see any from John Whittle. I'm afraid. In neither super chats nor uh, streamlabs. Also, uh, Jay said Patreon is five uh, percent." I thought they were more than that, honestly. No, That's you're just good. used to YouTube fleecing you. <laughs> it says, if you click USD $10, you can see it. Fill up right now. Can you? I, I can't see this on my screen. Do you want to just, just ask it in chat and uh, I'll answer it because it's not showing up for me. Unless you already have asked it in chat. Let me have a look. Yeah, you said I read the ones below it and above it, but not his. Uh, like I said, I control left you know, your profile and it didn't show up. I think YouTube might be blocking what you're sending. Uh, is there any swear words in it? Because I don't know, I'm trying to think of why YouTube might have done that. Uh, all of Clone Wars takes place before Revenge of the Sith. Yes, okay, but uh... the new season might not, right? Because it's the last one. It might take. They might have you know whatever episodes before, during, because the Clone Wars is still happening in Revenge of the Sith. Um, will you be watching the other Mission Impossible movies at some point? At least four and five. For me, they are one, good, two, awful, three, meh, four, great, five, great. Uh, I think we intended to at one point, but we didn't end up doing it. Um, but, you know, maybe. And I, I don't have particularly passionate feelings about any of the Mission Impossibles outside of Fallout. I just thought Fallout was really good. Fallout was really good. We did any fap about it. Um, that is definitely blocking what he's sending, so he's just gonna give up. I'm sorry about that. I, like I said, if you can try and post it in chat, but censor whatever word you think might be getting blocked. Um, uh, you can try that, I guess. Do do do. Palpatine will horribly mutate and distort Baby Yoda, turning him into Snoke. Oh. oh my god, what if that's actually what happened? <laughs> oh my god, please no. Oh, the story of Baby Yoda is a tragic tale. That's gonna, that would actually be pretty dark, wouldn't it? That would be fucking really dark, especially because they know how much people love Baby Yoda. They're like, yeah, we're gonna fuck him up and turn him into Snoke. He's gonna get chopped in half. Uh... <laughs> You're like, fuck him now. I got into an argument with a TLJ defender that says the reason the Empire remnants in the Mandalorian were experimenting on Baby Yoda was to get genes to clone Palpatine, and that's the film tie-in. Seriously, it it might be they they maybe you know who knows. 
I mean, I, I don't, my problem with the Mandalorian isn't that they are interested in a extremely force sensitive, small child. That's not my problem. That's not a problem at all. I certainly think they might be interested in that for who knows what it research purposes. My problem's the shitty writing. This one says, and I'm going to save it just to see his reaction, but what do you think it would be? This one says, I want ER to scream Jojo. He'd probably go, <gasps> Jojo. I, I would picture that would be. Jojo. Or is he doing a thing where he like, he's going to do that annoying thing people do, like children do, they whisper scream? Oh, he could do that, yeah. I guess we'll see the next time we have him on. Uh, whatever oh that is. God. Assuming I get to these these bonus messages as well, I really got to uh, filter them through. he wants to come back and hang out with us. Um, Ayo, FYI, Lindsay Ellis released a video about getting her first book printed. I think it's EFAT material with Shad giving his input on the process. Like in a way that just, like an informative sort of thing? Or does she say something silly in it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure how much we'd be able to get out of that compared to like yeah. your Same standard thing, like her media videos. videos. Really shit. Uh, her videos are 50-50, I find. I like some of them. Uh, it would be... It would absolutely be possible to write Jar Jar into the sequel trilogy and we can get something better than what we got. There is no bar for quality in Star Wars now, so using Jar Jar is not a risk. Agreed. That's true. Imagine he was in one of the ships that exploded from the Emperor doing his thing, just arbitrarily. He was like... <laughs> Oh, it would probably piss me off. Jar Jar. I'd be like, you don't get to kill Jar Jar. <laughs> I was like, how dare Jar Jar is, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jar Jar deserves better. Yes, he does. He was a senator. He was a senator, that's true. Hey now, lay off my boy Jar Jar. The, bin the binks cometh. What if, what if all the Gungans had Jar Jar be the senator just so he could get off the planet and leave him alone? Yeah. It's like, oh shit, let's make Jar Jar the senator. He's like, yeah, he'll never fucking be here. And they're like, like yeah, yeah, Jar Jar, you, you'll do great. You're, you're a, you're a decorated war vet. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You go and, go and do stuff in the Senate. And they're like, it's just, a, it's proud, just, Jar -Jar. it's a nothing position. He can't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, like they, they the dismissively powers. sent him away, but he ends up actually doing a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's it's Life honestly theory. true that he's part of the reason the empire begins. Like he's a big part. Good job, Jar Jar. Yeah. Uh, did got, Jar Jar maneuver. Got laid listening to EFAP. Way to start the new year. All really? Right. That must have been well, a bit awkward, um, but okay. I guess. Yeah, that sounds odd, but I'm glad we could help. We're on board. I mean, it's not called a, EFAP. Yeah. Not what I'd put on the uh, on the background. Well, I was getting hot and heavy with someone. Uh, <laughs> Here, while 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 we have the sex, how about you? How about we listen to the soothing tunes of a podcast that I'm on? <laughs> that would come across <laughs> as so <laughs> like narcissistic. Um, uh, <laughs> like uh, someone said, Jar Jar was not a senator; he was a representative. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't remember okay. the specific dialogue of what his position was, but he gave Palpatine emergency powers. So I'm pretty sure he had a lot of uh, a good position. Oh, someone emailed me the uh, the uh, the rule book for Pathfinder 2E. Thank you. I'll uh, maybe I'll take a look at that later. Also, Jose said, "Are you are you forgetting how annoying Jar Jar is? I know you're high from Disney sequel trilogy, but come on, that's the no, point. We know. Is the no. it's gotten so garbage that I would find it hilarious to bring Jar Jar back." Because there's just, there is no, there isn't anything anymore. It's just like, fuck it. Fuck it, bring, bring Jar Jar back. I'll laugh at it. Have him interact with Babu Frick. Fuck it. Uh, did Solo ever show Chewie swear a life debt in the film? Don't think so. I don't think so. It's hard to remember that film, though. Jay Longbone said anal. I'm awake again. Give her my money. <laughs> I mean... I don't remember when she said that, but I can believe it. Uh, will there ever be an EFAB meetup? I would love to meet my massive heroes. Also, don't worry, my EFAB family. Wolf will return to us during the turn of the tide as Wolf the White. Lastly, hi, Rex. Hello. I, I mean, a meetup's not impossible. Uh, yeah, that's probably all I'd say. It's not impossible, but it's not planned anytime soon. Yeah, definitely no plans for it. But maybe. I don't know. Uh... Maybe one of these days, if you know, it depends on what happens with us, but no plans for it, but it's not impossible. <laughs> this was as ER. Can we get a hard R for the new year? 
guess I'll have to save that uh, to watch him struggle with that question. So I am going to head out. So let's let's go ahead and wrap it up for now so I can get a couple Very well. things done. Obviously, yeah, we, we got through a, a bit of the overflow. There's still a chunk left. And with every EFAB that comes, we shall hopefully be able to chip away. And um, worst case scenario, Rags and I shall do a couple more of these kind, kinds of streams. Um, but thanks. you could be making videos. I know. I see, because when I slept once, people were like, shouldn't you be making videos? And I was like, fuck. Right. Um, also, John Whistle, it came through finally. It says, go to place where people bin pastes. Add this to the end, please. Sorry for the long question. Have another link in. Um, I'll try and do this as fast as I can so that rags can escape. How does, yeah. it, how does paste bin work? The URL. Oh. All right. Nearly there. Nearly there. Ooh. Uh, when you talked about Decimate at the beginning of TFA Part 3, you strongly imply that you think linguistic descriptivism means the new meaning of Decimate, i.e. to be greatly injured, is fine, because basically only linguists care about the underlying structure of words, root, word roots, etc. Language is as language does, and all that. Um, uh, so all I argue is that people are telling me that it means to take one-tenth of a thing away when that's more of a historical definition and that these days, uh, or at least modern times, decima is used to just describe a significant portion of damage. And even if um, it, it, w it was not, like if it was more commonly used to say you take one-tenth away, I still wouldn't be incorrect in using one of the many definitions of decimate. Um, but a lot of people only know of the one definition which is to take one-tenth away. Um, so what I was trying to tell people was when I described the supremacy getting decimated, it technically is accurate. Because um, people were saying it was inaccurate, and I was like, but it's not. Though, uh, if I could change the script, I probably would use a word that is more typically understood to mean damaged rather than decimate, but I just like the word decimate. Um... Also, he goes on to say, I think the worldview is consistent on its own, but I think there's an analogy to be made here between the deep structure of a word versus the meaning of a word and a character's underlying structural consistency versus their behavior. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but it really seems to me that anyone who thinks Luke throwing the lightsaber away is a writing error, not merely an aesthetic preference, should also think that using decimate to mean something other than destroying one-tenth is also a writing error. But it's not. It's, uh... It's not. It's just, that's another definition. It doesn't really apply to characters. Like, you wouldn't say Luke simultaneously loves his family definitively, but also abandons them. Like, it's they can't coexist. Similarly to how you can't say literally means literally and figuratively. Like, that's the whole reason Rags will rail against that until he's dead. Because <laughs> that's... Uh... I, I, I get that language changes over time, but I, I've got to put my foot down and and not and not accept the idea that something can unironically mean its opposite. Yeah, like that. It's not helpful at all. It's not. <laughs> it's like if blue also means brown, it's like, okay, now hold up. Uh, like either things need to be internally coherent or they don't, right? The same argument that says the decimate means whatever people think it means probably also says that Luke's behavior makes sense if everyone thinks it makes sense. And frankly, I suspect you will strongly disagree with the latter. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, we've essentially covered it. Um, but yeah, thank you for the questions, everybody. I think that's all Super Chats caught up with. There's still an overflow for those who feel their questions from previous streams have not been gotten to. We're getting there, I promise. It's chipped down every once in a while, because we had like three full streams of Super Chats that got saved instead of addressed because of all the things that were happening. But, um, we're getting there. And like I said, next stream is on Saturday at 7pm GMT, covering Ralph's Joker video. It'll be... Uh, a full roster, and there are more videos on the way. Tomorrow, you get getting the next episode of Infinitisms, so hopefully we'll see you there live. It'll be a premiere. Um, anything you want to say before we head out, Rags? Oh, I'm just glad everyone came in, and I'm glad that they sat around and listened to our podcast as we caught up. It's always good to be able to start these things impromptu and have people show up and listen, and we a lot. I liked a lot of the super chats. A lot of them were nifty to talk about. I like uh, like thinking about some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm glad everyone could stop in and take a look. Excellent. 
yeah, so we'll see you guys soon enough, and thank you for watching. I'm gonna be doing some editing work, slash writing work, and I'll probably hang out, I think Metal is streaming on Twitch right now, so I'll be in a call with him, so if you want to, I don't know, hang out, ask him questions, uh, throw a few discussion-tisms out, just jump over to his channel, essentially, that's where I'll be, and, uh, uh Rags, do you wanna say what's, what's the channel you'll be on? With, um... I will be on Arch Warhammer's channel. Which, yeah, if you don't know, just YouTube Arch Warhammer, you'll find him, and, uh, that's where yeah, Rags will we be. we will be there. In about, like, an hour as or so, is it half hour? Uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Well, there you go. That's where you can find Rags, and you can find me with, uh, Metal Commander. I'll throw Let's a link over. so that you guys can know. But other than that, that is it. Thank you for joining us, and, uh, we shall see you next time, folks. Yeah. Goodbye. See y'all.